zangu kuziosha cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake mwana sina wema wa kutosha zangu zangu kwake ke yesu nasima Pastor Lynn Sitati uwe tayari maombi salama die mwamani eh kwake Yesu nasimama ni salama die mwamani salama die mwamani njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye Gugu za kendizo na onjia yangu iwe ndefu Unipa wakobu mawimbi ya kini piga Gugu za kendizo na nga kwa ke yesu na simama Pastor Lynn Sitati, where are you? Please, if you could uh, do the opening prayer. Um, let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Uh, dear Lord, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for how you have been with us from the beginning of this journey until this time, oh Lord. We say that truly you have been a Beneza to us and we say thank you, Jehovah. Even as we start this program, the final journey of No But Almighty God, we pray that you may be with us uh, this time, Almighty God. We pray for strength for the family and everyone here. Father, your word says that uh, may your joy be everyone's strength, Almighty God. And so, Father, may you uphold everyone with uh, your strength at uh, this time, oh God. I want to pray for every speaker, for every activity that will take place here. Father, that Father, you may come and be with us, you may strengthen us, and you may just uh, cover us with your precious blood. And at the end of the day, we will give you thanks, glory, and honor. We thank you for such a great opportunity you've given us to gather here to just uh, see of our brother Norbert. Father, may you continuously be with us, encouraging and uplifting, especially the family, oh Lord. We thank you and we bless you. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, you may have your seats as the family also take their seats. AIC Kericho Choir, Upendo Choir, where are you?
um, the choir will now um, take us through their their song. Chor wenyun kiptayat Jesu. Fantastic. Shall we give our big hand to the Lord for a beautiful choir like that? Amen. Thank you, choir. Mubarikiwe sana. Now, uh, the viewing of the body will be continuous. Tutazidi kutazama mwili. Tukia tunapoendelea na ratiba. Kwa sababu hatuta kuwa na wakati tafauti hapo mbeleni tunapoenda kumaliza. Kwa hivyo, wal watu wa familia ambao hawajawahi hawajapata nafasi kutazama mwili huu ni wakati wenu wa kutazama mwili and na pia tutaanza kupata kupata introduction and at that point i would like to ask and Ruben Sigay if you could please come forward and and do the family introduction Let me take this opportunity first to thank God who has uh, made it possible for all of us to be here this morning. I would therefore like to ask Kiken's family, Kiken's family to come forward. I know when I say Kiken, we have Kevangan, we have Kelunet, and then thereafter I will introduce the Inasako. Kiken's family. Karab kiken tu gulom yano. Ama chow buan tayo. Agi pasar tane nenwat. Koyang kalle karab kiken ni. Kondo kabruben. Kopwa tayo. Teres to karab kiken ni. Kopwa tayo. Suka bit keger. Ne nawaom ba ya kwamba. Chami ya kiken. Wote wachi apan bele. Chami ya yegon. Wata tangulia. Awengi ne wata kwa nyuma. Ongke ribsa isa ke ba? Ama jo jo ko karab ki gento mul jami? Obwanyo. Obwanyo. Oh, wasong ke apa? 
Naambiwa ya kwamba tusonge hapa kwa sababu kamera iko pale mbele. Tuangalie kamera. Karab kigen tubul ama jo ibka sartanan wa jobwan tabadale. Yo le karab kigen ko la kwa gatul le karab kigen ko ngeten je bangang ke lunet ago limpa total obwan tayo. Kai kai nyo le go gero ko nyiten jup. Wa ki jipanga hapa mbele tuko na familia ya Karab Kigen kutoka sehemu tatu sehemu ya Chebangang sehemu ya Molo na vile vile Kelunet kumbe na sahau pia kuna Korongoi Karab Kigen sehemu inne wale wako nyuma ni jamii ya Karab Kigen kutoka Chebangang mweke mikono chu Chebangang sandeni sana mnaweza kurudi kuketi wale wa korongoi mweke mikono juu asandeni sana nasema wale ambao wametambuliwa mnaweza kurudi kwa viti turudi kule tuketi tutawaita baadaye wale watasungumuza wa karab kigen sehemu ya molo ni wale wako pale asandeni sana nafikiri mtarudi kwa viti turudi tuketi alafu Mwisho kabisa ni jamii ambayo msiba huu umetokea. Karab Kigen Kelunet ukiongezwa mama kwa mko bote njebendi ama jiweke. Kwa wale je pamolo kitio akibangang aburongo. Um jamii hii wanaishi sehemu ya Kelunet na Yegons family Rupen wamehamia pande hii mahali tuko na kule sehemu za Brookpond kule. Kwa hivyo mama mse ndio huyu ma, mama wetu mzazi mzazi wa Hawa Ruben na yako wote kuna Andrew wabi Nancy. Nancy tangulia hapa mbele. Sasa mama mkubwa mama mzazi ndio huyu Martha ambaye ni mama wa Ruben na mama wa Andrew Nancy Kiken I mean man Nancy Egon ni Hawa kwa hivyo mama nafikiri utapatiwa nafasi baadaye nataka apumzike alikuwa tayari ameanda pumzika alafu utapatiwa nafasi sasa tuko kwa Egon Mr and Mrs Egon Ruben na watoto wao mche mbele pamoja na Mildred um nafikiri mkechipanga vile mlisaliwa you can just be in order and face the, the camera i think you can come is it okay that Hii ni nafasi yao tutapatia nafasi ya kutosha. Kwa hivyo wacha wachipange alafu waone kamera. Ah kuna kijana hapo kigen. Nyonyo. Twende pande. Male mama yuko. Sasa hawa ni jamii ya Mr and Mrs Yegon. Mzee ndio huyo Ruben Yegon. Mama ndio huyo Rejo Yegon kufuatiwa sasa ni yule ame tuwaja Nopat This is Nopat's family Madam Mildred na watoto mkubwa ni Kiprotich Kipto na Gigen hao watatu kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu sana Nopat amewacha chami kamili kufuatiwa pia ni Tony Tony ambaye pia chana Mungu aliwachalia pamoja na Irene kusafiri kutoka Australia. Tunashukuru Mungu sana. 
wale waliwacha familia yao uh, hawakuweza kwa sababu unachua sheria saa pale ni ngumu kidogo kwa hivyo Tony aliwacha watoto pale Irene vile vile amewacha mumewe pale lakini wamelete risala sa, uh, sa, sa rambirambi na kitinda mimba sasa ni Linda Linda kwa hivyo hawa ni jamii wa Ruben Yegon ambayo tuko hapa leo kwa ajili ya kupumzisha uh, Nobat kwa hivyo nasema asante sana Mungu awabariki asante kwa kutulia Mungu amewasaidia kwa hivyo nafikiri tutaomba muende muketi asante sana sasa hapa nyuma ni vile vile um, dada wake na vile vile watoto wao akiongozwa na Nancy Nancy Yegon na watoto wako kulingana na vile uh, mesaliwa Nancy ndio huyo ambaye ni nduguye uh, Andrew ni nduguye Ruben Yegon na wanasema muje mbele alafu muangalie kamera second born in the family of Jonah Gigen ni Hawa uh, Cavandru en alega la Cavandru Arabiegon um Oyot ko uh, gigo muñ ko nanse ak loki ko ngoy ama jo tabate nafkire wa Alice Sasa Alice na chami yaku um jepto nebo neta jepto ne o en gap chona ko nendete among all myoret po yot onge ngalega mwani ngunguni bagili am myoret amu mai goro ngalega mwani ko ngoy mising nafkire meri na watoto wako goro sandani le mogere sandani ka gere nda ka gere nda ulgan ko mutuitae sandanin Oh, okay, tayo. Pengine ako mali. Huyu ni Mary, ni dada ya Ruben, asande ni sana. Anayefuata, Chen na watoto wako. Huyu ndiyo dada mwingine, Chen na watoto wake. Uh, moja hayuko pandei, nafukiri haku uweza kupata na basi kutoka simu za Amerika. Asande ni sana, mungu wa pariki. Anaevuata ni Eme. Eme. Aksandani aglokiwak. Kile ne gongoi ka wan ki amte ri rejo ki bagenga utabate. Alafu Joyce na watoto wake nafikiri sandani na ko barabarani akicha gongoi gobiroki oba. Peti ni kitinda mimba. To wait funu limbo ki kelion amangwale sandani akpo mari ko miyoret kiga kwa tugu lo ina kongo imising nafikiri programa nimemaliza sehemu yangu asante sana thank you very much um wana sigei for that uh, introduction and uh, by the way we are also we are conducting this funeral service under the covid protocols so if you could please make sure that you have your mask on um and observe all the other details and even though the government has said Uh, has has kind of released a few protocols but i th i understand that covid is still very much alive so let's be cognizant of that now um the next part of the program we are going to hear the eulogy of our son uh, nobat and it will be read by irene yagon if you could please uh, come over and read the eulogy for us thank you Praise God. I'm just going to read the eulogy for our firstborn brother Nobat. Um, just follow with me on the program. About Nobat. Nobat Kiprono Kirui was born on 27th November 1977 at Thika Maternity Hospital in the present day Kiambu County. He was the firstborn child of Ruben Yegon and Rachel Yegon. Nobat was brother to Tony Kirui, Irene Yegon Langat, and Linda Yegon a devoted husband to Mildred Kilui, Kirui and a loving father to their children Kiprotich Kirui, Kipto Kirui and Kigen Kirui. Nobat Kirui was son-in-law of Joseph Omwebu and Priska Omwebu and brother-in-law to Dennis Langat, Masi Kirui, Osbert Omwebu, 
Irene Omwebu, Judith Omwebu, Nathan Cleophas Omwebu, and Raphael Omwebu. He was paternal grandson of Jonah Arab Kigen and Martha Kigen, a maternal grandson of Paulo Arab Chelal and Sarah Chelal. Nobat was a beloved, beloved nephew, cousin, and uncle to many. Education. Nobat started his education at Good Shepherd Nursery School, Gong Road in 1981. Thereafter, he enrolled for introductory class at Kericho Primary School in 1982. He sat for KCPE in 1989. He joined Nairobi School between 1992 and 1995 for his Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education and subsequently proceeded to University of Nairobi in 1996 for a short course which led to an award of Bachelor of Arts uh, Economics in 2001. Employment and Career Noba took up employment at Cooperative Bank of Kenya and trainee in as a trainee in 2002 and later joined Barclays Bank of Kenya, Barclay Card in 2003. In 2006, Nobat left employment to pursue entrepreneurship and started with importation of electronics, mainly communication equipment for sale to security companies. Later, he got involved in road construction and afterwards was engaged in contracts with Rural Electrification Authority for construction of power lines. The performance of the agency was affected by corporate challenges of Telcom Kenya in the last decade and Nobat got into general supplies. Nobat was not averse to risks. He plunged into challenging tasks several times. He often worked long hours in construction pro projects. Nobat was an avid photographer. Marriage life. Nobat and Mildred met in 2006 when he had just become an entrepreneur after a long stay at Barclays Bank of Kenya. In 2008, they were blessed with their first baby boy, Kiprotich Kirui. On 14th December 2013, they sealed their marriage vows in a wedding that was held at Ray's place in Kericho town. They were later blessed with a baby boy, Kipto Kirui, in 2014 and Kigen Kirui in 2016. Nobat loved and was committed to his family. In this year 2022 and, bef and before Kiprotich sat for his KCPE, Nobat would drop his son to school every morning at 6 a.m. He was a good chef and loved cooking many types of cuisines for his family and the fridge was filled with pickles, chilies and all manner of delicacies. Nobat was talented and was awesome at photography and art. Most of our photos were as a result of his passion. We will really miss him carrying his huge camera and the amazing pictures he made from it. Nobat loved the outdoors. He took us to various places and sceneries during the school holidays. He loved animals, especially dogs, which he bred at home, even at home in Kericho. Before his demise, Nobat had organized a vacation holiday to Savo West National Park. Unfortunately, this did not materialize. We as a family have lost a friend, a good father, a mentor, and our anchor. We are not well, but slowly we shall heal. Health life. Nobat enjoyed good health until his sudden death on the evening of 21st March 2022. Nobat's legacy, a gentle soul. Though Nobat was soft-spoken, he was a people's person. It is evident from the many friends he amassed through the years and from the outpouring of love that followed his demise. Nobat was admired for his intellect, a deep thinker, who was extremely deliberate and intentional. Because of his reflective nature, his advice was sought after, and because of his gentle disposition, he was a trusted confidant to many. Despite his exceptional intellect and talent, Nobat was a humble man, and all who knew him can attest strongly to this. His friends and family enjoyed his sharp sense of humor, and his positive attitude will be sorely missed. Nobat's serene personality was, was rare and valued. In a world full of chaos, Nobat brought calm. In a, in a world full of uncertainty, Nobat brought a stillness of heart and mind. Nobat was ex immensely devoted to his family, particularly children's education. Nobat was a gifted artist and shared his creativity freely. One of the strongest attributes was his readiness to assist. He was a ready hand for family and friends in times of need. Thank you. Thank you very much, Irene, for that uh, wonderful um, reading of the eulogy. And I'll now ask 
uh, the Nairobi Chapel to please uh, lead us in a little time of praise and worship as we prepare to hear the word of God. Praise the Lord. God is good and all the time if you can see me just uh, wave me sorry wave at me wave at me amen amen uh, my name is pastor titus otieno uh, i am a born again christian we serve with the uh, nairobi chapel in langata where nobat and the family were part of and uh, we are really delighted to be here together with the family to just uh, uh, fare uh, fare thee well our brother Nobat. And therefore we want to jump right into a session of praise and worship and we would like to invite you. Um, the Bible tells us praise the Lord at all times. Even in times such as this we have a reason to thank the Lord. And more specifically because of our brother. We know his history and the history of salvation. We know where our brother is. And so for that reason we have a reason even to thank God even in the midst uh, of this sadness. So therefore we want to invite you and invite the worship team of Nairobi Chapel Langata to just lead us in this session. Alright. So they'll tell us if they want us to stand or sit. Oh, they say we stand. So to amke wote, tunapo sifubwana. opportunity to just remind ourselves of who our sustainer is. Allow me to just lay some context. One of the things that we have appreciated as a Nairobi team is just how green and beautiful and lush this place is. Indeed, Kericho is beautiful. And as we sing this song, I'd like us to think about the beauty that is around us and the fact that this is the Lord God who has made beautiful and has sustained it and even in such a difficult time when it seems as though nothing good can sprout and at a time like this when it seems as though nothing good can come of this let us be reminded that God is our sustainer he is our beautifier he is the one who nourishes he is the one who sustains the song we are about to sing is a Swahili song and it's, it's called Mnunyizi and I know we, a number of us have heard of it. And as, us, as we sing this song, let it, let it be a testimony or let us, let us sing to our souls and sing to our Mnunyizi, our sustainer, the one who waters us and beautifies us, but beautifies us. The one who makes all things beautiful, even the things that look as though nothing beautiful can come from them. So join us as we sing this song this one
indeed Lord we love you there is no other God like you and we stand before you this morning dear Lord even though our hearts are heavy just to proclaim your love upon us oh dear Lord we thank you you deserve our worship you deserve our praise unastahili kuabudiwa unastahili ewe Yesu unastahili kuabudiwa unastahili Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Tunakubaliana ya kwamba unastahili kuinuliwa. Tunakubaliana ya kwamba wewe ni mweza. Tunakubaliana ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu mwema. Hivyo basi unastahili kuinuliwa. Katika dhiki unastahili kuinuliwa. Katika furaha unastahili kuinuliwa. Katika makuu na madogo unastahili kuinuliwa. Katika kila jambo 
Bwana unastahili kuinuliwa. Unastahili kuinuliwa. Unastahili kuinuliwa. Unastahili kuinuliwa. Hata wakati hatuhisi unastahili kuinuliwa. Hata wakati tukiangalia na tuoni sababu unastahili kuinuliwa. Wakati wa majonzi unastahili kuinuliwa. Wakati wa furaha pia Bwana unastahili kuinuliwa. Maybe one more time let's just sing that chorus again. Unastahili kuinuliwa. appreciate the king of kings the lord of lords we can do better than that tafadhali amen and amen 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 hivyo basi bila kuchukua muda mwingi without much further ado allow me to welcome a man of god a friend of mine and the senior pastor of Nairobi Chapel Langata who is coming to share with us the word of god and my prayer is that you'll open your hearts open your minds to receive the word of god and let us pray for the word of god father lord in the name of jesus we pray for our hearts that this afternoon our hearts will be receptive to embrace your word this afternoon our minds will be opened father to receive we thank you bless the man of god whom you'll use as a vessel as you minister through him lord may you minister fast to him Lord we thank you and we bless you in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. As I say praise the Lord I'm not saying it as a greeting. Praise the Lord is not a greeting. Praise the Lord is a declaration that he is worthy of praise. And so if you you believe that God is worthy of praise I say again praise the Lord. Indeed he is God even in this season even in this time anabakia kuwa Mungu. Ni Mungu wa nyakati zote wakati mambo ni mazuri wakati mambo ni magumu yeye anabakia kuwa Mungu. Anastahili kupewa sifa hata wakati kama huu kwa sababu yeye ndiye ambaye anatupatia nguvu hata kusimama wakati uh, kama huu na kuendelea na shughuli ambayo iko mbele yetu. Uh, before we go to listen to the word of God I'd like to recognize every minister of the word of God who is here kila mchungaji ambaye yuko uh, pahala hapa uh, maybe a reverend a bishop or any minister penye uko tafadhali simama juu tungependa to uh, we just like to recognize you any ministers thank you so much thank you the ministers right there wow tuwapigie makofi tafadhali we see all the ministers around thank you so much thank you so much for coming just to be with this family your presence here means a lot I know the family is encouraged by your presence in this place. May God keep ministering through you and even to you. My name is Joseph Kibet and I serve uh, together with Pastor Titus and the team that has ministered at Nairobi Chapel Langata where the family of Nobat was uh, fellowshipping and where they do fellowship currently. And so kama kanisa tunahisi tumepoteza. Tunahisi uzito mwingi sana kama kanisa tunahisi uh, uchungu mioni mwetu na tunaomba ya kwamba as god encourages the family that he will also encourage us as a congregation najua pia kanisa la AIC hapa nyumbani mnahisi ya kwamba pia mmepoteza maana hii ni kanisa ya nyumbani and uh, before we share the word of god i just like to invite one servant from AIC just to say jambo on behalf of all the other pastors who are here wamekuwa wa, wako ni wengi na kila mmoja hata haweza kuzungumza lakini tukipata mchungaji mmoja wa AIC Um, Reverend ni kama wewe ndio unaitwa tafadhali karibu Reverend. Uh, uzungumze kwa niaba ya wachungaji wote na 
ministers of God who are here. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi ambao ametupa na pia tunaendelea kusimama na familia na tunawajulisha ya kwamba Mungu yuko na haja waacha. Uh, we just want to pray that the Lord will be with us through this day and as AIC Kericho town we are standing with the family and uh, Ruben, Rachel and the family we know God is going to be with you to the end of this and we will come back with a song of praise after this so we just want to say God will be with you and he knows why otherwise as a church we just want to say we are together and we know the Lord is going to restore your peace and restore everything that you have lost in Jesus name thank you so much welcome Thank you so much Reverend to mpigie makofi tafadhali. So tunaenda kusikiza neno la Mungu kwa ufupi. It only takes God one word to be able to build us up. God spoke in the beginning and he said let there be light. He only spoke two words and there was light. I know Mungu anataka anahitaji tu kusema tu wacha kuwe na faraja na tutapata faraja because his word is as strong as that. We are going to read from Psalm 139 tutapitia yote tunapo tutapo tutakapokuwa tunamaliza pia uh, I'll be finishing the psalm at that time so wale, wale wote ambao wako na biblia yao either physical bible or uh, ile ambayo ni ya simu tafadhali tufungue pamoja Zaburi 139 Psalm 139 then nitasoma I'll read from verses 1 to 5 and then we'll continue O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You hem me in behind and before you have laid your hand upon me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika wakati kama huu, at a time of mourning and grieving like this we each mourn differently and what we are each feeling is different mourning a son is different from mourning a husband which is different from mourning a father and it is different from mourning a friend it is different from mourning one of the members of our church it is different and even if you try to explain to somebody next to you who is grieving as you are grieving what you are going through you can't put into words what you are feeling what you are going through however much we are many it is a lonely affair it almost feels, feels like no one else hakuna mtu mwingine anaelewa machungu ambayo inapitia mioyoni mwangu uh, mioyoni mwetu and that is how it feels but this morning i'm encouraging the lord because there is one who knows exactly how we feel kuna mmoja ambaye anajua tunahisi nini mioyoni mwetu na hata hatuhitaji kumwambia eh, tunahisi aje vile tumesoma hapo hivyo Psalm 139 yatuambia kwamba he knows our thoughts he knows our words even before they are on our lips hata kabla tujaanza kumwambia Mungu ninahisi uchungu ama ninahisi kuvunjika ama ninahisi kwamba sina nguvu yeye mwenyewe anafahamu Bwana Yesu asifiwe ninatiwa Tuli, tulianza na kusema kwamba Bwana asifiwe si salamu si ndio Bwana asifiwe Ninatiwa moyo, uh, moyo sana I'm, I'm encouraging my heart because I know God knows our hearts every single one of us He knows what you are going through He knows you what, what you are feeling you don't even have to explain it to him Because he knows what grief is I like to encourage all of us here especially the family that it is okay to go through grief it is okay to cry when you need to cry sometimes you may want to be strong maybe for somebody else who is also mourning here but it is okay it is not a lack of faith it is not the assurance that we will meet nobat again we are sure we will meet him we had several meetings pale in Nairobi kabla tukuje uh, ile wiki ya kwanza ambapo tulipokea ujumbe kwamba nobat ametuacha 
tulianza mikutano pale Nairobi na tulikuwa tunakutana pale nyumbani na tulikuwa na watu wengi sana marafiki walikuwa wanakuja uh, wale ambao uh, wanafanya kazi uh, pamoja uh, na familia marafiki kanisa tulikuwa pale tunakutana kila jioni tunaomba tuna, uh, tunasikiza neno la Mungu na watu walikuja kwa wingi sana and as we were doing that uh, tuliendelea tuka uh, the last meeting tulikuwa nayo on Thursday tulikuwa na a memorial service uh, at the mog and one of the pastors came na huyo mchungaji akasema yeye ndiye mchungaji ambaye alifunga harusi ya Nobat na Mildred huyo mchungaji akasema kwamba yeye ndiye ambaye alimwongoza Nobat kumpokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yake na kwa vile Nobat alimpokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yake tuna uhakika ya kwamba sisi ambao tuko ndani ya Yesu tutakutana na yeye tena bwana Yesu asifiwe we will meet with him again but the assurance that we will meet with him again does not mean we do not cry right now it does not mean that we do not go through grief right now our lord jesus christ when his friend lazarus died he went to the tomb and he did cry he expressed the emotion that he felt at that point it was not a lack of faith it is okay where if you feel like breaking down it is okay it is part of it it is not a lack of faith let us please grieve as we feel it not only is god aware of what we are feeling he is also present with us he is also present with us verses 7 to verses 9 says of psalm 139 where can i go from your spirit where can i flee from your presence if i go up to the heavens you are there if i make my bed in the depths you are there if i rise on the wings of the dawn if i settle on the far side of the sea even there your hand will guide me your right hand will hold me fast if i say suddenly the darkness will hide me and even light becomes night round me even the darkness will not be dark to you the night will shine like the day for the darkness is as light to you oh the lord says or rather the psalmist here says that there is nowhere i can go where your spirit is not found hakuna pahali ambapo ninaweza kuenda ambapo wewe hauko na natiwa moyo sana ndani ya yesu uh, afternoon ya leo ya kwamba the lord is here with us at the end of this uh, funeral today we will all go to our homes kila mtu atendea manyumbani kwao na familia itabaki peke yake na pia familia ni seti mnaishi kwa nyumba moja wote kila mtu atenda kwa nyumba yake tofauti 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 Daudi anatuambia hakuna pahali ambapo tutaenda ambapo Mungu hataweza kuwa pamoja na sisi in a different section of scripture the bible tells us that he will not leave us nor forsake us nothing can separate us from our god not grief not pain not mourning not losing a loved one nothing can separate us from God himself and from his love. Verses 10 says even though uh, sorry even there wherever it is that we will be and right now for us it is a time of grieving that even there or in this time of grieving that your hand will guide me your right hand will hold me fast. He not only knows our pain and our grief. He will not only be present with us He will also guide us in that situation. At such a time it is so hard to make decisions. It is hard even for the family just to think how will we face tomorrow? How will we face tomorrow without our brother? How will we face tomorrow without my husband? How will we face tomorrow without our dad? How will we face tomorrow without our son? How will we face tomorrow without our friend? How will we do that? The Lord says that even in that dark moment his hand will guide us in the way that we should take praise the Lord I I am so excited within my heart because in such a time I don't have to rely to my own understanding I don't have to rely on my own strength I don't have to rely on my own wisdom Naweza kumtegemea Yesu ambaye atanyonyesha njia ambayo nitaendelea kuishi siku za usoni He will guide me I don't have to do it alone I don't have to figure it alone. God will help me through. No darkness will envelop us that God's light cannot light up. Verses 11 and 12 says, 
If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light becomes night round me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Wakati kama huu, a time like this is, is a time of darkness, it's a time of pain. Lakini Daudi ya natuambia, there is no darkness that is too dark for you, that you will not be able to light up. Yes, our hearts are broken, yes, we are grieving, yes, our hearts are heavy. But even that heaviness and that darkness is not too big for our God. The angel Gabriel spoke to uh, Sarai and told her, is there anything too hard for God when he was pro when, when the, uh, the angel was promising that Isaac would be born? Is there anything too hard for our God? Is there any pain that is beyond our God's healing power? Is there any grief that is beyond our God's comfort? I like to encourage us here that however hard it is, that it is not beyond God's ability. It is not beyond what God can heal. Praise the Lord. Our God is able to heal us. He is able to heal us however much it may take time. It may take even years. But God is able to give us the strength right now to go through it. And eventually, he will be able to help us to live our lives because he is our strength. There is nothing that is too hard for our God. There is nothing that is beyond his ability. I also like to point out that this is not the end. He has a plan. He has a plan for our lives. Psalm 139:16 to 18 says, "You saw my unformed body all the all, and all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them!" Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I wake, I am, I, I am still with you. Na Daudi hapa hivya nasema kwamba, yale mawazo ambayo uko na ayo kuni husu ni mengi sana. Hata ikiwa ningezi yesabu, haziwezi, eh, zitapita the grains of sand at the sea. And God has good thoughts for us. In Jeremiah he says, and I have, I have good, a good plan for you. A plan for a hope and a future. I like to encourage all of us to have hope. It may, the situation may feel hopeless. It may feel too hard. It may feel as though tomorrow doesn't exist and we can't face another day. We can't face another hour. We can't face another minute. But God is not done with us. God is not done with you, Mildred. God is not done with you, mom and dad. God is not done with you, siblings. God is not done with you, children. God has a plan for you. Actually, the Bible tells us that before we started living any single day of our lives, all our history was written in his book. God knows the rest of our lives. God knows the entirety of our lives before we were born. And I'd like to encourage everyone who is here. God still has a plan for us even after today. Even after we lay no but to rest, God has a future for us. God has a plan for us. The beautiful thing about God having a plan for us is that it is not us trying to make a plan for ourselves. We are not trying to resource that plan. We are not trying to find uh, networks and, and, and things to make that possible. God himself will sort that out because it is his plan. God will sort the family because he has a plan for the family. God will provide for them the strength, the grace, and everything they need to be able to live the rest of their lives because God has a plan for them. Now, not only does God have a plan for all of us and the family at a time of grief, he also has a plan for us for eternity. And God would want every single person, Mungu anangetamani sana kila adamu, Usiano na mungu. Diposa, at the end of it all, when we die, when we rest like no but, that our eternity will be secure. A time of grief and a time of mourning like this is a good reminder to us that we are only but passers by here on earth. Sisi ni wapita njia hapa duniani. Hapa siyo nyumbani. Bibilia inatuambia kwamba miili yetu ni kama eh, tent. Kitu ambayo unaweka asubui na jioni unatoa. Maisha yetu hapa duniani ni kama hiyo tent. It is very short. It is just but passing by. The question I'd like to ask us even as we draw to a close is 
are you sure that if you died today you'd go to heaven are you sure right now if god would come back right now that you would be among us the number of the saints going into heaven would you, would you be among us them and if you are sure what is your reason najua kuna watu watasema oh mimi mimi nenda kanisani so mungu akikuja nitaenda mbinguni oh mimi napenda tithe mimi nafanya hivi the only reason he will accept is if you accepted jesus to be your lord and savior he has a plan for all of us to spend eternity with us but he will not force it on any one of us he gives us the free gift of salvation by sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sin so that if anyone would believe in him they would not perish but have everlasting life and God is giving an invitation to all of us here that if you are not sure where you will spend eternity this is a good place for you to be sure and how you can be sure is if you have not received Jesus to be your lord and savior huu ni wakati mzuri sana wewe kumpokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako maana we do not know the time set for each one of us only god knows we may be standing here today and the next minute you are being called to come and bury pastor kibet because my time here on earth is done no one knows the bible tells us that it is certain it's 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 for a man to be born once and to die it's it's given we will be born once and we will die the thing we do not know is when we will die but are you ready for when you will die and so i'd like to give an opportunity to anyone here even as i read this last verse psalm 139 verses 23 and 24 the psalmist says search me o god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts see if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of the anasema search me o lord search me o lord search my heart are my ways pleasing to you o lord and lead me in ways everlasting so every head bow down would you talk to god and ask him lord would you search me am i ready for eternity if you would come if you'd come right now to take the, the whole uh, church will i be part of them or if it's my time to rest like nobat am i ready like robert was ready would you just pray before god right now and as you do that i'd like to invite anyone who has not received jesus to be their lord and savior kama hujompokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako popote upo inua mkono wako the rest of us are praying the rest of us are bowing down our heads lakini kama uko pale na hujampokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako inua mkono popote upo na tuomba pamoja na wewe kuna yeyote yule kuna yeyote yule okay let's pray kama wewe ni mmoja wa hawa ningependa urudie maombi haya nyumba yangu najua pia kuna wale ambao wanatuzama katika runinga pia kama uko pale pia rudia haya maneno nyuma yangu kama ungependa kumpokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako sema bwana Yesu ninakiri kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi na ninaamini kwamba ulimtuma Yesu Kristo ili akuje duniani na kukufa msalabani kwa sababu ya dhambi zangu Ninampokea Yesu leo awe mokozi wa maisha yangu. Ninakiri kwa kinywa changu kwa kwamba wewe ndiye mokozi wa maisha yangu. Niongoze, unitakase, unijaze na roho wako. Uniandae ile siku ili ile siku utakujia kanisa lako niwe miongoni mwa Wakristo ambao watenda mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen just like to pray for you even as we continue in that mood of prayer father in the name of Jesus Christ i pray for every single person who has made that prayer for the first time that lord you would secure their lives and hide it in you that lord you would lead them in ways everlasting that dear lord you will lead them and you will teach them how to live for you in this world 
and how to prepare themselves and how to serve you in this world even as we wait for our time here on earth because indeed it is short and then we will get to spend eternity with you i pray for the rest of the believers who are here lord i pray that lord you who knows what you are feeling and what we are going through right now at a time of grief that lord you who has promised us that you will never leave us nor forsake us would you be with us would you guide us dear lord even in how we will live our lives after we have laid our brother no but to rest that lord we do not have a clue how that will look like but you can lead us you can show us the way father we also pray that you would encourage us and you would comfort us for every believer who is here i pray lord that you would help us to live for you to love you with all of our hearts to love you father with all of our minds with all of our strength with all of our soul knowing that our time here on earth is limited and is short father we exalt you and we magnify you and this we pray in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen before i hand it back to our mc i'd like to invite the worship team again just to sing that song there's a there's a that's one of the songs the last songs you had prepared that when the oceans rise and when the thunders roar as they sing that song i'd like to invite the family just to come up we'd like to pray for you family if you just come here and the ministers who are here any pastor any reverend any bishop who is here to kuja to zunguke family we put them at the feet of jesus because only god is able to encourage them we could speak many words we could say so many things but it's only god who can lift them up it's only god who is their strength so wachungaji ningependa niwalike any pastor any reverend let's come and just stand where the family is and pray for them as they are here so every family mtakuja upande huu kama kuna wengine ambao wako hawako huko as you sing that song and thunders roar I will soar with you above the storm Father you are king over the flood I will be still and know you are God I will be Kristo ambaye yuko hapa nyosha mkono wako katika hii familia na uombe waombe kwamba Mungu ata, atawapa nguvu Bishop Bishop Bet uh, aja tufungie katika maombi Okay let's <clears throat> let's take this time to pray for uh 
Mr. Yagon's family. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you this morning for this great congregation which have come to mourn for the loss of Reuben's son, God. Lord, we know that thou are the one that controlled everything here on earth, the living and the dead. God, Lord God, the taking away of our son is not by mistake. It is not even by might, but it is by your spirit, O oh God. Lord, I, this afternoon I just want to ask for peace to reign in this family. May you be the one that consoles them, God. You are able. Man is not able, no matter who is. But it's only you, God, that has the power and the glory to do it, God. Father, Lord God, we know we would have loved to live with him as long as we are on this earth. But you saw it fit that you take him, God, to avoid many other problems which he would have uh, met, God. Lord, I want to pray again for the entire family, from the eldest unto the youngest, God. Nothing is impossible unto you. I pray, O oh God, that nothing of this kind again will come. We want to curtail this in the name of Jesus. And if there is a plan or a scheme of the enemy, which the enemy has set for this against this house, against this family, against even the land, I come against the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may all the powers of, of darkness which schemed about this, God, Lord, be scattered and be burned down forevermore. God, you are able to over God. We call upon you in times like this. This is not the only son that has come around us. There are many others elsewhere. God, there are people who are mourning, who are crying. They don't know what to do. God, but God, you have the power, God, to give us the joy. My heavenly Father, God, also God, I want to come against the spirit of premature death, which has become rampant in this county or in Kenya, God, where young people die without no ghost. God, I come against such spirits in the name of Jesus. And I also come against the spirits of witchcraft on the land, which are rampant, which are claiming the old, the young, and even great men. Lord God, Father, let them go. Let them, may we not see them again. Come Kai ituch akpebu chebasabon kai iur enat kai tugul amungi muaile chiage tugul negurin ituche agiribe keptayat itai tengai mengete igo igo chini ngorobaji bekerop and che chego ngoro ngorobaji kumnyat ngoger matata guriria gogen keptayat amatata goger git neun amuni muchi kagisamin rirosego rirenosego tul kororoki anan kotujai keptayat ingengorachi tugul le miu keptayat ingengorab chiage tugul nerago gas ngorlio ingen jehova chi tugul nerago mago le sobe keptayat jehova ngomichiu ne tenda go jobe ti ngolol jinote ago isugunet ko mukto indet ye kitese ta ko gasa ko tep kaliet ak mi indo en gainet ne ba jesus christo amen thank you Asante sana Bishop na pia wachungaji wote familia we can have our seats um, ikiwa in, in case you made a prayer to receive Jesus to be your Lord and Savior ikiwa ulimpokea uliomba ile ombi ya kumpokea Yesu kuwa mokozi wa maisha yako ningependa kukusihi ya kwamba popote ambapo unaishi tafuta kanisa a Bible believing church Go there, end up pale wambe mchungaji Nilikuwa katika uh, mazishi Na kule nilimpokea yesu kwa mkozi wa maisha angu Na ningependa unifunze hali ya kuwa mkristo Usikae pale na uh, usema utajifunza peke yako tafadha lienda kanisani Na umzungumze mchungaji, uh, umzungumze mchungaji na atakupatia uh, ataku maelezo zaidi Asante sana Karibu sana buwana mti oh. 
Thank you very much, Pastor Kibet, for leading that very, very, very important part of our program uh, today. Now, the next part of our program is to hear uh, tributes. Mind you, they are tributes, not speeches. And tributes are all about our dear son, our departed son, Norbert. So to start us off uh, is Norbert's family. I'd like to give this chance to Ruben and Rachel to start us off as they uh, pay tribute to um, Norbert. So. Uh, may I take this opportunity to say praise to God for having taken care of us over the past few days. We have had 10 days since the passing on of Norbert. Norbert being our firstborn son gave me the incredible title of a father and later on a grandfather. So Norbert uh, came to our life in 1977 and has been with us up to uh, the 21st of March 1977. We brought him up as as a as a child, and uh, all through up to where he came to to live his married life. So we thank God for that opportunity, and uh, we have accepted uh, his demise, and we uh, with the belief that one day we'll meet when Jesus comes back. Uh, the passing on of Nobat was sudden on that 21st evening. When we got the news, we were home, three of us, my dear wife and our last born daughter. So it came to us like a heavy thunderbolt and um, in the midst of panic, I managed to inform my friends, our neighbors, and within no time, uh, we got help. Um, Pomori Wilson Gones was the first to arrive, and later on, many others came to us to help us, and the church came through and we spent time together, giving us encouragement and um, uh, worshiping with us on that evening, on that journey. And then, at this point, I may want to I want to say thank you to the people in Nairobi who rushed to assist. And specifically, I want to mention or to pass my gratitude to Jeff who attempted to take who took him actually to Langata Hospital and Jeff I believe is here um, if you can stand please oh yeah that is Jeff and uh, I also had a long time friend who was uh, my my schoolmate in high school and refunding a teach I don't think he's here but his daughter Jebet is here uh, Fundi spent up to midnight, up to one o'clock, trying to sort out issues between the hospital, the police, and the and the mortuary. So I'll be I'm forever grateful to Henry Etich, a great friend. He rose to the occasion and assisted. There are also other people. Um, Sam Corir, he was also at the hospital and he, he worked together with. Um, Hendrik a teach, and I think Sam Korir is here. You may, yeah, that is Sam Korir. I am very grateful to that gentleman, a friend of Nobat. Um, the other people there, Arnold, Arnold and Donny, Reni Kiroi's sons, Sami Chepkoin, a friend of mine. They took control of the situation in Nairobi, and uh, worked on our behalf because we couldn't do anything from Kericho but they rose to the occasion and took charge and controlled the situation and at home here we also had other people our friends who came to us the church 
Yeah, I see Kericho Town, full gospel church, Bishop Chiruyot was there, and uh, other churches, Bishop Bet was there, and we are forever grateful to them. Franklin Bet and uh, many other friends came through, and um, we are saying thank you to you all. Uh, Unilever T family, we have a family that we call Unilever T. And um, they were with us, they visited us, they gave us encouragement, and I will. Do, I want to say thank you. We cannot reward you, but God will reward you. Otherwise, um, all the mourners who have found time to be here, thank you very much. We are encouraged. Thanks. Um, I'm Jambo Wote. Nigependa nichukue hii fursa. Nishukuru Mungu kwa sababu leo na esasi mama. Sikujua itafika wakati kama huu ambapo nitapata nguvu na kuongea juu ya Nobat vile amelala. I want to thank God so much that I have strength today. I did not know that I would be able in fact when it happened I thought it was the end of the world for me. Nobat is my firstborn, as Mze says, he's the one who qualified us as parents, and we loved him very much. Um, I do not want details on how we loved him. We loved him like anyone would love a, a firstborn. And we thank God for him, and we thank God so much for the number of years that he gave us to live with Nobat. Even though there are few years, still we appreciate and we thank God that he has left us a family, a beautiful family. And we pray to God that uh, he sustains this family to reach the great, the great heights of their potentials in lives. Um, I do not want to give stories on how it happened. Mze has said it came to us as a shock. It came to us as a big shock because we did not expect it. He was not sick, but it has happened. And when it happened, friends of ours came in handy and one thing I have discovered or I have learned through this period is that the best asset to invest in is friends. Friends came and held us. They took control of us and they did everything. Even as you can see me standing like, I mean they are standing the way I stand here. I did not go out shopping for any dress. I did not go out shopping for sugar. To, uh, to host our guests, everything was taken over by our friends. I have, we have incredible friends. They have stood for, uh, with us for these last 10 days. It has not been easy and we would not have managed on our own, but friends of, friends and the church, I thank you so much, our church, AIC church, who stood by us. Uh, and this is the encouragement that we've gotten this is the encouragement that has held us together. I thank God so much. And not forgetting family. All our family members stood by us. Those who even escorted us to Nairobi to come and accompany, accompany uh, Nobat, I thank you so much. I thank you the Nairobi group who made us feel at home and encouraged us so, so much that we found the weight that was in our hearts lightened. We thank you so much. I, uh, I, when we were in Nairobi at the chapel, uh, when we were having the service at the morgue by the chapel uh, church, the Nairobi chapel church, I saw all the friends that were in Nairobi, and uh, I mean the, the, the youth that were in Nairobi, whose, whose parents were helping us at home, they also were there for Nobat's family in Nairobi. And one funny thing is, I, I think I remembered all of them by name, which is not usually the case with me. I, could, I would always even forget a, a close friend of mine. But that day, God gave me the grace to remember each and every one of them by name while I was thanking them for being there for us. Thank you, everyone who stood by us. Siwesi sema kila mtu kwa jina. But Munajijua. For the 10 days we have been at home, we have been having numerous visitors. 
lakini wote walishughulikiwa kwa sababu ya marafiki zetu na kanisa letu hawakuchoka asanteni sana 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 so no but i have said again and again sleep in peace my son yes <laughs> may forever be in peace sleep in peace my firstborn oh, i think it was time he rested it was time he rested and i would like him to rest in peace till we meet again mildred do not feel alone my daughter do not feel alone we are with you our grandchildren please do not feel alone tuko pamoja anytime kiprotich please go to form 1 in peace go to form 1 and enjoy your schooling grandpa is here i am here your mom is here and all the friends you've seen surrounding your mom uh, marion kindly stand you have stood with mildred from day one all through thank you so much karen not to mention others they have stood with us linda had friends surrounded she was surrounded by friends some of them came from nairobi to come and work from home just to be with linda because she was the only sibling of nobat in kenya thank you so much friends thank you so much i think i will stop there with just a word of may god bless all of you may god bless all of you anybody everybody who has taken time to be here with us thank you thank you thank you and god bless all of you thank you thank you very much um ruben and rachel and may god continue to flood your hearts with peace which passes all understanding uh, the driver of kce 058z your lights are on kce 058z your lights are on if you would like to attend to that we continue to hear tributes and right now i'd like to give this chance to mildred and the children to make their tributes Uh, good afternoon. Praise God. Praise God again. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It is by his might, it is by his choice that we are all here today. If there's one thing I learned from my husband's death is that God is the only giver and taker of life. He decides how long we live here on this earth and it would only be good for us to glorify him and live each and every day glorifying him lead by example be good people i'd have so much to say about no but i could write a book i know some of his friends have so much to say about him the way he used to help people at kijiji when there was a fire in the morning he would always carry the carry a lunch box sneak it out of the house probably he's taking food to the watchman at the gate he's taking food to someone he saw who was hungry at the kijiji sometimes he could come and take in some old clothes when uh, there was a certain fire next to the kijiji where we used to stay he took those clothes to those who did not have he was a generous person if we live by his example we'd all be good people Nobat was a good husband, he was a friend. He taught me how to listen. He was a good, good listener. You would talk, tell him what you want to, you know, tell him everything. He'd listen slowly, then give you just one comment, which would take you back and, you know, in retrospect, you'd be like, I mean, what was I saying the entire time? <sighs> Nobat, please. This was God's plan. I accept it. 
I promise to take care of the children together with mommy and daddy and Linda and Tony and Irene and also my siblings. Thank you so much to those who've been with us from day one, as daddy said and mommy. You've stood by us. When it happened, I had no control over myself. I, 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 I didn't know what was happening around me. Everyone came in, they took over the kitchen, they took over the whole house. They planned each and every day until we came to Kericho. I'd not be standing here. Friends, family, first and foremost, church. Thank you, Pastor Titus. Thank you, Pastor Kibet and team. You've been awesome to our family. I will be forever grateful. And to my colleagues, you have been the best of friends. You're not only colleagues, you're friends. You'll get to meet them later. I know we'll have a chance to introduce the friends and families of both sides. Allow me to stop there. But thank you very much for coming to be with us this day. Thank you very much, uh, Mildred. May God continue to flood your heart with peace which passes all understanding. We'll continue with uh, tributes from um, Norbert's uh, side of the family before we will give a chance to the other side of the family. Now, Ishmael Keegan, Asigwaseb Marta, Agres Keegan, Agroda Agrecho, Agnancy Agon. So, and Ishmael Keegan. เอาเลยนี่มูเตียมูเตียมมีเสียงกิ้งแกก็เสียเอเจคีร้องกันเนี่ยก็เป็นสักกิ้งแกร้องกันเสียงแกร้องกันเสียงก็เป็นสักกิ
Ale neta awe kini chewo bagungui amun koko gai gai kongeten nguo napa ale ne pole kabisa pole pole nga ba pomuru pole nga bruben pole ruben kabisa agot agrejo kinge kaske kase na ragnete ago ngwanet kabisa kip ga tai ruben kip ga kosi kip ga rejo Aki bwa lo ke mi bita ni ke le ki ki ai ta na ngu ni ko ma mi ta ni lo ke ba bita ni ja ki la nda bita ni ko ko ngoi mi singa mo ngoro ai tu ko ngoi a we chi ko ra ko ngoi en min re a mo ngun ki mi ai ko ko mi lo ki ra te ma ai te re jo lo ko ngoi ka besa ko ngoi ko mi yo ki gen Kue <laughs> Awon ki bwote ke mi gota mama en worongo ki kwa mama kwa itega maika ke mwa wa jutora ko ko ngoi ko ngo jo ba mun ko nai ale ma ko nai ago sisike ko ko bwa lo ki mana suko tiyo lo ko ju lo ko ju jo amuite suko tiyo tiyo lo ko ju to Kiti o ko ke ti ke tu lo ko ke ke ri ke ko ra ole ni anyu nje iso ako na ngwa nga ko ko bas ko ngoi missing eh nancy bas asige tar in agabule sigap nobat and henry chip coin ak ana maina asige yesun komasi nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kushukuru mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya mapenzi na ulinzi wake. Ya pili nataka kusema pole kwa Kapshimeji Andre Mleni sana Mildred Pole. Eh tunajua God can only is the only one who can fill the cup which no part has uh, left. As we have heard in the eulogy no but really was a man of the people. Hata wakati alikuwa na kuchanga kusalimia nyanya hata kwetu alikuwa anapitia. He could come to my house, go to grandma's house and also when he was coming back he could also pass our place. In fact we shall miss him really big. And we thank God for giving him such an extraordinary love. And we pray to God that he will uh, be always with the family always because he's only he's the only one who can and will sustain the whole family kongoi no but kongoi chokoba siru gomye kongoi missing nancy and amacha wachi henry chepkoin ak ana maina asinyo gesu jonathan ruto negata grace kigen and Kongoi missing ni na ibro eni wanchi wa kongoi inga sata na wuni na kundo juich in pesiet denda enyo kui ni na moji ya sata ni muto missing in pesiet na wuni so kongoi kara mungu torta kiova kuo gimito kuo na mutaet ku mungu na nyolo mwe na uba abule. Obulecham ke tuye 
kigotige so kogigas kele ko komuny ko kigose sait taman ak aeng subui komonchi ko kiai mag missing amun kimata borur won komie kiriraki ne ko kiep kasarta sisiya ko kiyo ko sima utieni ko gayok mama mute nenyi na kine kole mochi ne won kamati ile mutyo amon wala ga otach won goi so mutip jo bo bo to kap sandanin kap obule ah ne bo obule kongui nguri wa ki hova aga ga ki ti hova aswa bi tu ndo yo en gazar ta ga tu amon ma ti ngi ne ki moi ko ai ki hova bo si ngi ni ko ma ma obule kwendot ko ko inchi ko ngi mutu enga mutu no tek ni ko ngi ngi hova ko ngi bura ki hova ti ki ko ngi ni tuguli eh yo exi ko muta ki hova ago bengaliet age njomnyu ko ngi missing alas ko ngi missing ene ba sine ko nyoro ka ne ago ki hova ko ngi ngoro ire sine ngi ngi ki achek tul ngi nyit ko mugol ngi nam ngi ko ngi nam ngi nyinele ko ne bawa ngoi na mom mutyo en kai ka proven ka bwere ki tupye ne 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 no ko weri no wagi ne ngap chona akwa ne akwa no yenga yenga bo yot ne gi le tanganyi ka tanganyi ka nje banga ko ka kwan ke nyoke mwa mutyo family ne nyona ke che mama ne nyona ko ki wo in borto ko ma ma mu go nyu mu ne 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 ko ki ko nyaru borto nyin mesi ko ki ka ki ki ka ba ki ka ki ki wo nyu ma ne ka saran ki ka 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 si to la kwan wi ne ti ka stop so mu mi cha na ya ne ka si ko ndo go nyu ro borto na nyu no ko 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 mo e ki ni vote ko le ka go ka go si to la kwan ka ha nyona nyuma na ka nyona ki nyo ke ke mwa ke yam te tukul nyi ki sinit to ako ngu na ki te te tai ko ra ki pa ke nge ki mwa e mu cho en ka ito nyona ka vu ri nyona ha ri le mu to ka pa so ri pen ka vu pen a tukul fa mele tukul ko pa te ki le le mu cho ka nyi te ni tukul cha ka vu a nyo ke yam te nyi ki sinit ke mwa ko ngu ya mu ka ro vu a ko ngu ka pa sa mu nyi ki sinit to no ka pa sa en ki cha na ya no ko 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 chu li nge pa i sinit nyi o la ko en min mi sing Nugo go to king gai moni asi gai sobi ko ma miten kasi kai kai ne gai muche gai moa yong gai gai ta sa tap chi go nyi tenju ko ki gai 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 tiu a mung gai gai tiu ta tap chi to ko ma miten le gai tiu to a le le muche miten miseng ka pesa a ka fami le na nyon ka to le a le le muche ka pesa muche gai ruchon muche gai gai tiu gai tiu gai ki gai gai ko ma suwe tiu gai gai ne gai wan te nyo gai am te nyi gai sini a le le muche ka pesa Kungwe ya munga ke kwa obwan sinyo ke yamte nyi kisinde te kungwe mise. Los not chaiso, los not kora. Kunde tayi kona na mwa kungwe ena fasinde ka kikuna no takane. Na na mwa kungwe ka bisa a kondo unen ngon liot nde papule. Na na mwa pule nko nyone te nde ko itie nyi kisindo. Na ko ngwa ni ka bisa gi bet taita en ka ne taita ne bo ne gi gure en taita en ba tie mi se kanan bo mori ko ko ngwe ka ra ka mun ko tore te cho ba a ko ga e ga e ch ki nge ga ska bisa gu wong gi ma gi nge nge le e ch la gi ne gi to nun we cho ba ko ya yu e nde mi ko ngwe ka bisa en family ne tan ba ka bru ben na mun ki mo i ko to nun so wa nut ki ma ta ge ri ra ko bo ne ne ruwe ke ri ra ko bo family ne a mun ki nge nge ge le Kigiri irchi ni amun ka kingi ingi ingi le kosa gi ngwan sai di ko ko ngwe ka bisa amun ki tonu nuak chu ba ko ya yuang ni mi ko ngwe amun ni lo go chu kuak it ka bisa amun kiak ir ka bisa <hesitation> ko ki tinya ka bisa ko kosa to ki me gi to ko gi ka ika ike asa ko ka <hesitation> o gi me gi to mildred ama che ka bisa ko tore chu ba mildred ag lo go chu chi get ki chame tu na ku penda mag <hesitation> mildred sana na wa tu to wako <hesitation> no pa tu li ko na penda sana. Tukicha kwe eh, nyumbani alikuwa anasema karibu karibu umekula umekula tukasema say eh tumekula umelala vizuri eh sayo anaenda ana ni mengi sasa Mildred burgo mie ko toretin choba bahati uko na wasasi wazuri hiyo ita itakutosha ita tu ah Tony 
Kibur komie kotoretin Jehova as kimiten asiri blog ak family nenyon ne tun kotoreti Jehova ak koyai yu enemi kongo en TV chu chok kapsa kichome lagochu ngebwan kochomech ine ak kongen kole kiantis chechiket ko sikotoret ak Jehova ak koberurech echek tugul ak che cousins ak lagochon chok tugul ko katonone ne kata icheket so koyai kityo Jehova nimyo ak koberure ane aweru abunu Narok County lo kapisa lakini kiakas ko takibwa sai noton ketoreton kele siwe karon ko sikotoreton ak Jehova eh ko kiger kapisa chomyet nebo choronok ko takomwa katakere ale aba kararan initinye choronok choronok chebo eh, chebo Kabruben ko chekikingi mengechen ketakemiten sukul ko choton che kokinyoru akoi ra akina Mary Chepkwony pik chekikingen kongeten olikinye ko kararan kapisa ngetonon ak choronok ak kaniset kora so toreton ak Jehova kityo ako berura kongoi ainet ko elis koros thank you very much kongoi a uh, nigata ana maina aga chini kevin bonesa sifie praise god so i'll speak on behalf of my mom uh, she's called ann maina angependa kuzungumza lakini ana uwezo ana nguvu so ningezungumza kwa niaba yake ah uh, mom dad kinasema pole ilikuja bila sisi kujua na ikifanyika tunasema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu tunajipa faraja kwa huu wimbo ambao umekuwa kimba saizi moyo wangu ukae kimya kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu anajua anajua kwa nini ilifanyika na anajua vile Mildred na familia watakaa so tunasema pole kwa familia na tuko pamoja kwa niaba ya familia yetu ambayo tunatoka upande wa wasingishu an maina ni dada ya Rachel Egon lakini aliolewa upande wa wasingishu so kwa niaba ya familia ya wasingishu kama maina tunasema pole kabisa kwa familia yote ya Egon Tony Linda Irene mama na dad tunasema pole na tutakuwa pamoja asanteni sana Thank you very much uh, Kevin Now we will now turn to Mildred's uh, side of the family and i would like to give this chance to joseph and priska omwebu uh, who are mildred's parents if you could please uh, sorry sorry and then uh, banaba sogechi will will finish on uh, that side uh, judy omwebu also will speak on behalf of the and uh, siblings yes. so, familia ya eh uh, familia ya kolera zangu mse mse and mama yegon the clergy the monas my name is joseph mwebugo gechi eh uh, i have a, a problem I'm a patient in short I'm a patient I have a dry and a gunny mouth caused by radiation I would have like to talk uh, to talk with some my mouth sticks I, I can't I can't I can't continue every word I I talk makes it that the mouth is dry and that is a problem I have had for three years uh, I, I was being treated well, being treated in the states and uh, there came a time not me but my family there thought I was going I was leaving them and they said <coughs> they asked the doctor how can you help us to call our last born from Kenya
to invite our last born to come and see our dad before he was. The doctors are always very good, very cooperative. They gave us a long letter and they invited Rob Norbert na familia yake wache uko tuonane Love that said, you be an animal. I'm wishing. Unfortunately, here, here in Kenya, the embassy have very st strict conditions. They did not manage. Had they done so, me, I don't know what would have happened, but it is through God's. Uh, way of function that it has now turned to me to say farewell to Norbert. It's unfortunate, but there is nothing we, 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 we can do. When this thing happened, it was a, a, a thunder strike to us in the States. And all over the world where our friends are. But thank God he, he assisted us until we are here to say quite to nobody. With those few remarks I hand over to Barnabas. Na wasalimu wapendu wa mwenyezi mungu Yangu ni mafupi Kwa kolera yangu Mr. Egon and Rachel Pole sana and watoto wenu. Pole sana kwa kupotesa soto wetu mpendwa. Nobody. We are all together. We are all together morning for this. Go to Mildred. Mildred is our first, our last born child. And everybody loves her. Everybody loves her so much. Her siblings, they all love her so much, better with the children and Norbert. Norbert was a kind, loving father as I knew him. He cared for his family. He loved his children and Mildred. That's why when they first came for introduction at our home in Akuru, I observed Norbert. I took time to observe him. I found him to be a generous and loving, kind young man. Because I didn't want to give away my daughter. I loved her so much. I even wanted her to be with us through. But because someone else loved her more, we had to give her away. Even now, we still love her. If they do not want her, we will still take her back. <laughs> we are with the children. <laughs> Mr. Egon and Rachel, if you do not want Mildred with the children, we can take her. We still love her so much, so much that we do not want her to suffer with the children. You have to promise today that you are going to take that responsibility. You know they stand on your shoulders. Nobody is not there. They stand on your shoulders. You have to accept it or not. And for the people of Kerijo all together, I give you my special thanks because you came together and organized for this special 
occasion for nobody. Thank you very much for what you did. We appreciate and we will still appreciate as we go on. My daughter Mildred, you have been left field, you know, but you are not in the open field. You may be thinking so. We are there. And Rachel and Yagona promise to be there also. And your siblings. And all our siblings are ready to help you. If you have any problem, please don't hesitate. Always call. We don't want you to suffer even a second. You are the only loving child at that home. You know? And we still love you together with your children. Keep rotating. We want to be sealed at the birth of Jesus as you continue your journey. Together with your siblings, keep, keep, keep tall and kicking. Please, you are going to be the pillar of this house to help your mom bring up these young ones. You understand me? Can you promise me? Thank you. I love you. For Mildred's friends, Marion, this is the to our home at Rona. They used to tell me, Mom, you just sit, you just sit and wait for everything. You are not going to do anything. We are here for you today. Just relax. That is Marion and Karen. They used to be friends from the university up to this time they are parents, imagine. They are always together. Any problem, they are helping each other. I thank them very much for your friendship. That is a special friendship which I will never, I mean it's everlasting even. And for Nelly and your sister from Germany, imagine taking, boarding a plane from Germany to come and comfort Mildred. That is a special friend and a true friendship. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And I hope you will continue the same. And for the church people who used to go to Mildred's house every evening to pray, to console them, to comfort them. Thank you very much. And I ask you to continue with the work of God because that is a blessing to us. And for the people from our Pirate Magente who have struggled as they had this bad news to come and comfort Mildred and grieve with her. I thank you very much. Can you all stand, please? People from Magente. These are my uncles, my brother-in-laws, my sister-in-laws, and aunts. They are all here. They came for this grief only. They were here on 2014, and they are here today again. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Last, but most important, I go back to Mr. Yegon again and Rachel. Please take care of my child. If you don't take care of Rachel and Yegon, I'll come back for her and I'll take her. I'm ready to take, take care of her. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you. Last but most important, may the grace of the Lord be at this bomber and all our bombers. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mama Priska. Uh, we would like to assure you that we will look after Mildred. Um,
I am part of the Nyumbakumi here in this Chagaik. And any attempt to um, take Mildred away will fall into the category of uh, stock theft. <laughs> and this may witness the ushering in of ethnic clashes between the Abagusi <laughs> and the Kipsigis. So, and uh, please be warned that um, we are on the lookout. And, uh, and the rest of the Wazes in the village, please uh, be on the lookout <laughs> for any invasion. <laughs> Thank you very much. May God bless you. Uh, Judy, on behalf of uh, the siblings. Abayuzen ni water. Koma jina mimi naitwa Rafael Lomwebu. Mimi ndio ndugu ya Mildred. Mildred ni fuata. Mildred ndio ni fuata. Uh, no but was a very good friend. And apart from being a friend, he was also our fourth brother. We are three brothers and uh, three sisters. And I uh, thank you, Mildred, for giving us the opportunity to know Norbert. We grew to love him. He was a kind-hearted soul. He loved everybody. I, it was like yesterday when he came to pick me up from the airport. And ever since we have this it's just because I am far away. but any time that I came over I used to spend uh, all my time at their house and uh, me and Norbert most of the businesses that he has been doing uh, he took me to a couple of them he showed me the ways and it's it's sad that he left us because me and him had a lot of plans and now I don't know what to do um, on, the other, on the other side of the continent but I can assure you you are a fifth brother so apart from that I'd like to <coughs> thank you all thanks dad thanks mom Irene, Linda, you're part of our family. We love you as much as we love Norbert. Uh, apart from that, my siblings sent me here to come and represent them. And before I leave, I'll just uh, like to tell Mildred, you will never be alone. And like uh, Tony said, you and your family will never lack. You don't even have to call. We will always come now, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Um, as we continue with the relatives, I'd also like to give this chance to Muduma's family, who are um, uh, Tony's uh, in-laws. Uh, Charles Kabiru, where are you? Oh, okay. Uh, Barnabas, just, just, just a little bit. Uh, Barnabas Ogechi, if you could atakuja kumalizia kwa upande wa Mildred. Asante ntuhu mwene kiti. Mina mwemisikia mimi ni Barnabas Yorenge. Mina fuata mzee. Najua gila jamii inanjia yake. Laza mimi naansa na mambo ya kikizi. Mina ita wale wote wakia hapa mbele kuja nyote hapa mbele kasi nisi wa mitrit ngi hapa ntumwesi ntumwesi goja akiendelea kuja mimi naongea tulikuwa hapa mara ya kwanza 14 december 13 2013 wakati wote tulikuwa na chesa na na kuimba na wote leo tumekuja njia nyingine njubu wangu mwepia peke yako ndio taongea kwa nje ndio 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 hakuna njimwesi wacha
Jugango Nga etogo chia Baba minyoka kimbele gocha Bame kuja wote Alo ndugu mwenye kiti Mama wa mamuze hapa Nimesikia mwenye wange hapa Nimi mambia tulikuwa hapa mara ya kwanza 14th December 2013 Tulikuwa tunaimba hapa kienyechi Na nyimu kaimba kienyechi yenu Leo tumekuja mambongine Nimeona mama kiria Nimeona wengine watu wa kiria e, Watu wa miria Lakini siku hiyo tulikuwa mambo ya Ya kuimba tunakuchesa Mambo ubatirika Hiyo ni kuanyasa kuamba kifo ni adui Kwa kila mmoja wetu Sasa atuna mengi Ningesema wote uh, Saluti nyinyi wote Wambie pitengo Pitengo ni kini ya kienyechi Hiyo munasema ni ya kisungu Wambie Kwa kwa na yake bye bye Hini fanyini hivi Sema bye 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 nobody Thank you. Uyu ndiyo na nifuata, mi nafuata muze, umesikia mwamiona vila alivyo, tumesema sasa tunaenda mbali. Atuna kusema sasa, thank you. You are here, working in this place. Asante sana familia, for that wonderful representation. Bwana Charles Kabiru. Alafu The Kones family Will follow thereafter You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you Uh, good afternoon, mourners and friends of uh, Nobat. Uh, I stand here to represent the Muthuma family. We, our sister, is married into this family. She's called uh, Mercy. Mercy is a wife to Tony here. Uh, she's still out in Australia. We want to condole with this family, the Egon family, who have been very close to us. And uh, we are very proud to be part of their family. Uh, I want just to assure the Omwebus, because our daughter is here, you should not be worried about the Egon family. That's my personal uh, you know, assurance to you. Don't be worried at all. Because uh, this is a good family, this is a very decent family, and they care. They care, and uh, we are going to continue supporting this family. Uh, Mildred is our sister also. We shall continue supporting. We are in Nairobi, but you can be sure everything from Nairobi side will be taken care of when you're here in, in Kericho. So, Asante Pole, pole Sana, and... Uh, the rest of us who have come, thank you so much for supporting this family and we hope to continue supporting. Today is not the last day, it's just the beginning of another journey. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Charles, for those uh, wonderful words and the reassurance that um, all is well within the Yogan family. Although I understand... Um, General Andrew Mitai was already beginning to constitute the anti-stock theft unit just in case um, anything happens. And I would now like her to ask uh, Wilson Connors to please come over. Make your tribute. We also like to recognize um, the presence of 
Mheshimiwa Beatrice Connes. Karibu sana. Now, and kwanza ningependa kusema habari yenu. Ya pili ni lazima niseme pole sana. Pole kabisa. Umekuwa na nyinyi tangu hii mambo yatokee. Shida ambayo ilitokea nyinyi alikusa sisi. Na tunataka kusema kwa ufupi poleni sana. Hapa tumekuja na watu yetu na tutaki kumaliza nafasi kubwa. Mimi naonekana watu wamechoka na tutai kuongea mengi alafu tupotese nafasi kubwa kwa watu lakini kwa ufupi tunasema pole tutakuwa pamoja kila wakati mkiwa na shida yote msisahau ku, 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 kuongea na zizi koko now and mimi nafikiria hawa atatacha majina zao alafu mmoja yao ataongea alafu ta... okay Uh, mimi nasema nitatacha majina zao alafu mmoja yao nitapata nitapatia nafasi kuongea wapi mtoto wetu eh en una que tengo macarao que eso le kimwai pole kabisa gavin kones it ingi kyo amacha amogoro ginu eh oh that's good that's good so so we going go hello 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 dad Yes, uh, go ahead. Yes. Now we are having um, a message from Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. So we can go ahead? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Masi Kiru. Hello everybody. My name is uh, Masi Kirui and I'm the wife to Tony Kirui who is the second son of the Yagon family. And I'm calling from Australia. It's unfortunate that we could not make it to be there physically to support the family, but we are with you in spirit. I did want to read a short message for Norbert, so if you could bear with me. I'll not be taking too much of your time. Um, my dear friends and family, let's not think of Norbert as gone away. His journey has just begun. Life holds so many facets, and this art is only one of them. Just think of Norbert as resting from the sorrows and tears in a place of warmth and comfort, where there are no days and there are no years. Think of how he must be wishing that all our sadness could go away. And let's celebrate his life and think of him as living in our hearts that he touched for nothing loved is ever lost he was so very loved by all of us rest well nobat thank you everyone for coming and thank you so much for all the support that you have shown the yagon family i'm very grateful and i know they're in good hands mom and dad tony arin and linda we are together and we shall keep being together thank you all and may god bless you goodbye um my name is dennis <coughs> dennis langat um i'm the husband to irene irene is one langat so unfortunately we could not make it as much as mentioned um but tony Irene and the kids are there to to represent us. So, bado tunasema pole. Um you know, I just remember that night when we received that phone call at 1 a.m. and uh, I remember Irene kept asking me if, if it's fine, everything is fine, sorry. Um because that called us at that time and as you can imagine 1 a.m. it's not a phone call that we wanna be receiving. Uh, 
uh, while you are away from home. But we thank God that I, uh, Irene and Tony were able to travel to Kenya because initially we had uh, a few um, issues, uh, of course, to do with the COVID uh, situation. But um, so Babi Mwenyezi Mungu ku Maumbi Zetu, they were able to travel. I'd like to especially thank the community uh, in in Australia, the Kenyan community in Western Australia, or basically I should basically say Australia, because they are the ones that enabled. Um, they came together, wame tusaidia, wame kuja katu, they, they come and supported us, both uh, financially, in spirit, and basically visiting us. Um, <clears throat> in fact, the, the support of Tony and Irene and the kids traveling to Kenya came from the community in terms of their flights and all that, so thank you very much. Um, basically, also want to thank the community back home. Um, um, we can see we are watching this live, and, um, and I know a lot of the Kenyan community members are watching this here as well. We can see the love that uh, the family has received. We can see how much uh, Nobat has uh, had you know that friendship and that love from the community from the friends i used to talk to nobat and uh nobat but sometimes i would talk to him and i would start wondering is this really nobat that i'm talking to because he would spend for nobat to spend that some like 10 minutes on the phone was a bit of a, a miracle so nobat will miss you my brother nobat is uh, my brother-in-law but he became more like a brother because, as I mentioned, I used to, you know, spend a lot of time talking to him. So, um, you know, thank you to the committees, uh, you know, the committee back home, led by um, Mr. Mite. Uh, the Australian committee, no, but, uh, I mean, Gilbert and, and Jim, Jim, um, thank you very much for the help. The family back home, Pauline Sana. I'm sure we'll come and condone or really come and uh, see you sometimes, maybe in December. But asante ni sana. Thank you very much. So, ni asante sana then. And next, I think I was now was going to start to hand over this program to... Introduction. Introduction first. Yes. Now, starting from here, this is my daughter. She's called... Beatrice Segei, mm. followed by Irene, mm. my daughter again, daughter-in-law in fact, but I, I'm calling them my daughter. Mm. My granddaughter, yes, Nessa, Nessa. Mm. my grandson, mm. Natai, Natai, do you, you know me? Oh, Dennis was on. Yeah, exactly. I, I I hope everybody, all of you knows that, that she is uh, my, my son's and um, wife. The one who has just talked. The one he has, he has just talked. Followed by my son. He's called... Yeah. 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 <laughs> my sister-in-law. Yeah. Lily, my sister-in-law. In law, next, Emily. Emily, so sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm getting confused these days. Mm -hmm. Just mention your name. Next, okay. Uh, now I don't think I have anything more to say. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, are you here, my? <laughs> now and finally, I'm going to hand over to at least who. Our Mweshimia, because we, we just want one person to talk here. We don't want to delay you. We don't want to waste a lot of time here. And I can see the time is running very fast. Some of you here are going far, and we don't want to delay you. Therefore, we say, Pole, Kapa Mori, may God bless you. May God comfort you. I know whatever problem you have gone through is a problem I have gone through. It is a very, and it's a very bad situation, really. To take, it will take time to get off, out of you. And uh, therefore, I might go over to my sister-in-law. Okay. Thank you very much, Pamuru. Yes. anything? Just come. Yeah. Just remain until she finishes. Okay. The Agons, who are a Kabatian, the entire family, a Korede.
mama ya mama ya Mildred I want to give you a big assurance Yu msijana ako kwa good hands hata ukiuliza ukiuliza Mildred I can attest to it because I know she's in warm hands the parents and the entire family are very very responsible people if given a chance Mildred will also say will always say I'll remain in this family that one I know so please get assured yeah and be comfortable because I know that is the concern of every mom I understand so I want to give my sincere condolence me and from my family and from the people whom I represent the people of Bometist to the Akon's family and say Paul for the loss of our son Eh, no but even before your daughter came to our family was a close friend of our children they grew up together with our kinder kevin so they have been very very close friend and we are really sorry for the loss of this son but we know god will take care of everything we are doing the same same thing some two three years ago nasio raisi but God is in control. We pray that the masses of God will dwell in this family and give you love which will really sustain this family. So, because of time, I just want to I think Bamuru some relation in a very very fun way. Sasa nitaanza na wewe. Kuja Ken, kuja Beatrice, Ken and the wife and then Beatrice yeah, like that. So this one is our, this family is our firstborn Wilson Cornes a uh, daughter Beatrice again she had introduced herself and then the other way around you are gives this Ken and the wife how are you to Bamuru wengine hawakufika like uh, the one who have just talked on phone Maru this family is in Australia and uh, Evans the last born so the and then uh, come uh, Victor Victor is my nephew daughter to my son to my in-law my sister-in-law we came together from Bomet and his part and parcel of us and then uh, I'm a little bit love Kevin uh, Lily Kwanes Mushmi Alili Kwanes is my co-wife. She resides in uh, in Molo, we reside in Bomet. So we are the widows of the late Kipkalia Kwanes. Eh uh, Kimwete Kwanes is our firstborn. Eh uh, and then uh, there is somebody katikati hapa. Eh uh, Bibi our late son Kibiegon. She didn't make it she's in Nakuru. And then there is a uh, Chepkuri who follows. There's Chebet here. The late Chebet. And then the late Kibiagon. And then there's Chepkuri. Uh, Chepkuri Kones, he resides in Nairobi. And then the last one. And then there is Kipto. Our late son Kipto. And then last born Nikiblangat Kones. So uh, maybe Mama Jebet to say me one, one word, Paul, or two. God is good all the time mine is just uh, to say paul sana i'll say it shortly because time is gone and uh, she, uh much more has represented the family of the connesses plus my brother in law connes i want to say paul sana to cap at him you are children all the relatives mildred we are with you paul sana we know the pain of losing a husband but god is always there you have to accept that this happened so that life may continue. You have been left with uh, two and three handsome boys. And those ones should be able to keep you company just the same way no but was. There's nothing hard and there's nothing difficult if you rely on God. I just want to thank each and every person. Thank you, Irene, and your brother for making it to send off your brother. We know life. I mean, we know when you receive the news and you are far away, it was not easy. But we thank God because he made sure that he kept you strong 
until you made you arrived here with our grandchildren. Thank you for everybody, the friends of the Yagons, relatives, neighbors, church members. I don't want to take a lot of time because we all know this is the route. When it has happened, we accept it. Thank you so much and you be blessed. As you have been told, I'm Mrs. Lily Cornes. I come from Nakuru County. She comes from Pohamet County, but we are the same family. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you very much and uh, praise God. Uh, let me also take this opportunity to pass a word of condolence to the Yagons and to Mildred. When and we first came to Nakuru to get Mildred from my parents, I came with Nobat. Nobat was a friend. I went, to Nobat, I went with Nobat to primary school. Later on after college we met in Nairobi. And, and resided with him in the same estate in Langata. So, and Mildred, I know it's tough. Losing a husband at such an early age, it's difficult. But, and God's grace and the love of the family, which you've been assured, and I also would want to tell you that, and you're in good hands. That's the best of my knowledge, you're in good hands. And take care of these little boys. They'll grow up to be men. And, and just let them know their dad. Otherwise, thank you. My name is Kipka Tichkones, and these are my parents. Thank you. Paul and Isana. Okay, thank you. That is what we had as a family. Just a word of Paul. Praise God. Okay, my name is Beatrice Igay, sister-in-law to Aiden. Just want to pass a word of condolence to you. Family are gone. Mildred, I assure you, God is not going to leave you behind. As all of us will go, but God will be there for you and your children and the rest of the family. So, Paul, the Yagons, I know how you are feeling, but God is going to comfort you. Be blessed. Thank you very much, uh, the Kones family. Now, um, as we wind up uh, that side of the family, we'll go to the clan now. And Amacha Gochi and Pigoing and Thomas Sige Wapi Thomas Sige Nagatagab Kol Waleg and then Reni Reni Kirui Alafu Christopher Mutai at Takuja Kumaliza. Reni, where are you? <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina mimi naitwa Kirui Reni. Hii ni kama familia yangu. Nitasema tu machache sana. I grew up with Ruben. We went to the same school in primary school. Went to the same university. We graduated the same day. We did the same course. Watoto wake wali grow up na wangu na Donny, Arnold, na Alan. And I want to tell you, Ruben and Rachel, that I might not tell you I feel the pain that you feel. But surely we, we serve a God who is faithful. God is faithful. I received the news that same night from the boys who were in Arabi. Komutio ongo Jehovah. May our, may our good Lord wipe away your tears. May He fill the void that you feel in your life. Ruben, you've been my friend. We lived together when we were young, when you we went for a job, etc. And there's nothing more painful than a, a parent burying a child. That I can attest to. But Reuben and Rachel, there's a God in heaven. There's a God in heaven. Let us serve him faithfully. Let us walk by his ways. I knew no but. 
has walked by his ways. They are young children, your grandchildren. I pray the grace of God be upon the whole family. May God bless you. May he keep you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Reni. Uh, to finish off, that is uh, Reverend Christopher Mutai. You will realize that that voice is very familiar. Uh, Biblia Husama Broadcasting from Kijabe. You know, is it Kijabe or Nairobi? Yeah, both. Um, pole zangu na mke wangu yuko hapa. Ningependa naye aje. Mke wangu jo jo hawa ndugu zangu wa kuone. Jo jo hapa, jo hapa. Mimi kwa kwalo le tukuliu je je toma kwa nine. Two minutes. Yeah, so so. Je, vio sab kwa kwalo le ni banande ni? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante sitaka kuchukua nafasi na shukuru Mungu na tunasema pole. Asante. Arnyo Arabia go bomuru mutiongo kaiga Jehova. Uh, mama wa huko kisi. Sumeona reva ni kwa hapa. Sana ndugu ya huyu. Sasa ile maneno yako nime cancel katika jina ya Yesu. Na ile ya uh, chairman hapa anasema kisi na ki, classes hiyo mimi na cancel katika jina la Yesu. Na mimi nasema ile 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 baraka iko kwa hii nyumba ni ni baraka ambayo ni ya Yesu. Na watatunza mtoto yako vizuri. Huyu ndugu yangu hana matata. Yeye ni mzee Mungwana. Mama huyo ni Mungwana jebo gapi. Gap. Ibogaben Jelal Wako wazuri hawa Wote tunasema Kwa Yesu Watoto wetu ni salama Hata yule amelala Tunamusindikiza alale Kwa usalama akingoja siku ya ufufuo Siku ambaye wale walimuamini Yesu kama yeye Watakutana pamoja Kwa hivyo kilio yetu Ni hapa duniani kwa muda kidogo Kwa sababu kuna maisha ingine ambayo inatungoja huko. Na kwa niaba ya jamii nzima ya Kalwale tuna, tuna laini kubwa sana. Laini kubwa sana. Lakini Captain Musar e, Captain Rutan wo, kama wako hapa e, kwa niaba yenu mimi ndio mimi natoa pole zenu kubwa kubwa. Na wale wako Eh uh, jebo family jebo gap kap kwa ibatai kap kwa ibatai ali muzee ali ali parikiwa kuzaa wa, wale walio tuzaa eh walio tuzaa sasa kap kwa ibatai watoto nane moja moja alirudi huko nandi nandi mpaka wa leo hata alijipatia jina bureti kwa migo bureti aso linda pan ulimba nandi jega jega kap kwa wale che che ngetie ka youtube in capte blanke mina sema pole san penzangu wale wako hapa akap call wale tugul otono se jengi boga pte rutany itonon gi boga ka pte musar otono se komije vio akio ogo ne je unega mutio ogo jigai ka call wale tugul lomi missing big yok go beru rock jehovah i go to talk i go so i go bala go kyok go 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 by nga liet and by sonic em yet i go to bo some say tap kura inik on gana le kumi wa lage kema kwa kura yane mie the talk to boga kwa lo jehu to no sa kwe oi ngeliep tino ngule ke kararan Kwek ni jero ngi boga kwa lo lagi je ngi jero jato ako tara pelio kuhimo kuandui ko kongoi 
eng tugul tegawa wote mliofika hapa kuja kutuomboleza asante sana mungu mungu asaidie naitwa reverend christopher arab mutai watu siku hizi wananiita binadamu wengine wananiita chuma ya italiano yeyote ile utakayeshika uniite tu taitika bwana wabariki uh, Santa Sana Reverend. Now we'll give this chance to a few friends uh, from uh, Norbert's friends and Mildred's friends. Um, no, uh, to represent Norbert's friends, I'd like to invite uh, Pastor Alice. And from Mildred's side, why is the APSA team? APSA? Yeah, if one of you would please, we'll, we'll, we'll be asking you to stand up and one of you to please speak on behalf of um, all, all your friends. Pastor Alice? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, Mildred, Kipro teacher, Kipto, Kigen, Ruben and Rachel, and the family at large, uh, Poleni Sana, Kwanyaba Yangu, and family Yangu. Uh, I have this special occasion to speak. Uh, precisely as a friend to Nobat. Uh, Nobat had a network of friends and is a kind of a fellow who could uh, relate with people of all classes and uh, identify with persons from all grounds. And uh, I'm a pastor and a friend to him. Uh, you know, irrespective of the fact that we are Christians, uh, after we believe in Jesus Christ, we got works to do in life. And uh, Troubles are there, ranging from marital troubles, behavioral troubles, ranging from financial troubles. I got to know Norbert when he came to find me in my office one of the fine Sundays. And he told me, I'm looking for one pastor early. We had a talk, a very hearty talk. And uh, I got to know him and we started having a journey of friendship uh, all along. And uh, as a person, Nobat was this very humble guy. And as a person, uh, Nobat was very intelligent. I remember the moments I could sit back with him and we had my part of talk. And now when we finish, we get to business. A very brilliant uh, intellect in entrepreneurship. And he talks of business like nobody else. Even when you met Nobat at his worst, he couldn't mince his words when it comes to business issues. He talks very intelligently. And nobody as a son, I want to assure you, Ruben and, 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 and Rachel. And when I talked about family issues, and he tells me, Pastor Ali, and I, I really wish I finish my house and, and, and try to find a way Mildred can, can, can get a transfer to Kericha so that we may be close to home. Because I want to be seeing daddy every day. He had you at heart at the end of the day. And he was very grateful. Every time I talk and he say, you know, Pastor Ali, and I have a farm that I need. Nataka kuongeza majani chai yenye wazazui wameni, wameni pair. He had you at heart. And he's grateful for every detail thing you are able to do to this boy. And uh, nobody as a father talking about... Uh, Pastor Ali nataka kwenda Nairobi because he's taking my children to be alone during the holiday. And I, I'm sorry for Akina Kip, you know. Uh, this was a kind of a daddy talking about his children every other time. And, and, and you know, um, thank God for the momentous time you had with Norbert. Uh, I remember instances when he never lost focus on God. I mentioned some times ago that I am a... If there is something I've done since 2019 coming to Kericho is counseling. And I use this place so much to meet my proteges. And in moment, there is this day when I came here with three three girls to come and counsel. Like, Pastor Tati Kuja Church, can you take us somewhere? So we came here. And the first person I meet is Nobat. And by then he was taking a break and I think doing some managerial work in the hotel. And he tells me, Pastor Ali Twende, you must pray in my office. I went there, I prayed in his office. There is a day I came with a gentleman, also a protege. 
and the person I meet is Norbert and he tells me Pastor Ali it's good you are here he took me to his house and he told me Pastor Ali can you pray with me you know this, this focus on not losing irrespective of the struggles of life uh, you don't need to lose focus on God you know a, a, every other time and and I miss him as a friend you know so many friends do we have in life but there are these exceptional friends that you you get into their lives and and you treasure them so much and and thanks to Norbert that, that I was able to meet him and we had a walk uh, together tulikuwa na safari na yeye safari nzuri sana and suffer me to say for the encounters I had with him every time I come here to race and I meet him for those who know Norbert he likes pocketing you know and and he comes in that posture and he tells me pastor Ali I've been waiting and I tell Norbert you know uh, I'm sorry for being late he tells me I like keeping time I like keeping time on 21st I think Norbert chose to be punctual to be in the land beyond the sky as a punctual fella I want to we we don't we don't choose to say bye to friends we are made to say bye and on behalf of friends who knew this gentleman this intelligent fella uh, until we meet again and family be strong be strong uh, you are a strong family take care of akina keep you have a legacy you have the face of nobat you have the intelligence of nobat to take care of you have you know the family of nobody to take care of mildred if god opens ways like nobody was saying every time nataka nimalize nyumba ningangane kupata transfer for for for, for mildred ndio tukaribia wazazi these other guys are abroad and all over and i think you you and nobody were the ones who are near here and Perhaps parents if you are strong you may go to Nairobi and join Nobat's family however if midred along the way will find that she needs to be around in the spirit of Ruth to Naomi she may choose to say parents where you go we go where you stay i say your people my people your god my god midred have that heart thank you so much thank you very much uh, pastor ali it's uh, a wonderful thing to have a pastor talking very confidently about you i don't know how many of us uh, can testify to that that your pastor can really say i know this person very well but you know quite often you will hear that the pastor will say who uh, mambo yake mungu peke yake ndio anajua and when it goes that way you your mambo yako yameenda combo kabisa the pastor should be able to talk like that now apsa team uh, can you just stand up where you are we want to appreciate you just stand up the apsa team thank you very much for your representation and they have a representative thank you thank you very much i would have wished for the apsa team to join me here please and in the process mildred would also like you to join us reason being mom and dad we are here because we are mildred's family jesus is your number life we feel all the time oh jesus mildred we want you to know that uh, the same way you have a family here you also have a family in absa we are here because we are your sisters and your brothers we are not just your colleagues or your friends we value you highly you have met no but before he he went to be with the lord it's just another phase of this life because we believe in eternal life The Bible says that life eternal so he's not dead he's just moved to the other face of life he was a kind hearted man he was a good man i remember my colleague was sharing there is a day there was no power in langata and she passed by the house and you know she had no her, her phone ilikuwa imeisha charge and she she didn't know what to do and then nobody said 
Mildred, Mildred, give her my power bank. As in, he was kind. He was a good person. So we are here for you, Mildred. Never feel alone. Mom, Dad, we want you to know that when she comes to Nairobi, there are people there for her. We appreciate her because she has a big heart. She's a kind person. We appreciate her and we are here to stand with her. This is her family, part of her family. Uh, our manager, Marion Bore, and the manager also of Kericho Branch, Mr. Wesley, wished to be here, but they were not able to come. So they also passed their condolences. Thank you. Yes. Yes, my heart beats for you. Thank you so much, the APSA team, for your representation, and may God bless you. And we will now give a chance to a few friends from Ruben's and Rachel's friends. And uh, we had some very supportive friends in Nairobi. And uh, I'd like to ask one of the representatives, uh, Sami Chepkwan, if you are here. Is Sami here? Yes, good. Uh, he was part of a very strong Nairobi team, uh, an, a Nairobi committee that helped to put together this uh, funeral. Karibu san. Uh, <coughs> to Mr. and uh, Mrs. Yagon, Mildred and the children and the siblings, first of all, I want to convey my personal um, condolence to you on uh, losing a Robert. I have my condolence from me and my family. But again, more importantly, I also want to convey the condolence of all our friends, those whom we met in Nairobi, and I know some of them might not, might not also get an opportunity to speak. And I want to say pole sana, everybody is saying pole. Interestingly for me, how I got to know Nobat, I think it was around 1990, when I joined then Brookbond, which is now Unilever. And I recall very well, that uh, when I went for the interview, one of the panel members was uh, Ruben Yagon, who interviewed me. So when I joined, Ruben did not just become, I mean, one of the bosses. He also became a mentor to me and like an older brother. So when I got to know Nobat, I always treated Nobat like a nephew because Ruben was like my older brother. I treated Robert sometimes as a friend son. And more importantly, I wanted actually to sometimes to develop a relationship with him as a friend. And it was very interesting. When he would meet me, he would call me Mr. Chepkwan. Then I would tell him, you can just call me Sam or Sammy because sometimes those I wanted to feel young, I think, when I when I would be called Sam or Sammy. And Nobat would smile. And you know, his smile was not that wide smile. He would just smile a little and look at me like, you know, you know really? And uh, interestingly, of course, over time, we got to occasionally be meeting and chatting. I got to know him quite well with, uh, with Tony because the Yagons became our very close friends over time. And that is how we related very well with the entire family. Uh, when this thing happened, and I've been reading the tributes, I think Ruben put the word, of course, this death that came was like a dark cloud. It's true. But uh, Ruben and uh, Rachel and, this, and the siblings, I want to assure you on one thing. I think I believe now in the English saying which says uh, that there is always a silver lining even in a dark cloud. And that silver lining is in Mildred and the children. What I saw in Nairobi since this thing happened is actually something which I've rarely seen in other places. Mildred and Nobat, I think I'd built a wide and very strong circle of friends. In fact, I noticed for the first time that they have a very, very, very powerful social network. And I think I talked to Ruben occasionally, assuring him I know it's painful, but there is something wonderful about Nobat and his family. And I'm happy having heard, of course, um, everybody else speaking, and particularly you, the family, saying that you'll give her the support. I want to assure you that you'll always be seeing Nobat in the children and Mildred. And that is actually what we wish for you. We know it's a very painful thing. It's not an easy thing. And uh, for the siblings of Nobat, of course, also, we want to encourage you to continue giving them support because the children are young. 
actually I got to know Norbert more in his death than I had known him when he was alive. And the reason why I got to know him more is because when I got to meet the friends in Nairobi, I realized how powerful and strong they had built the friendship. I also realized even through that's how I got to know even quite a number of his cousins. And I realized, you know, when they'll talk about you, they'll tell you how solid Norbert was when it came to talking, when it came to issues. And that at least gives a bit of, com I mean, some comfort. Finally, uh, before I sit, I know when we went through all this exercise, uh, perhaps I don't know whether it's been that, I mean, uh, whether it was mentioned, when we went for the, for the post-mortem and then the doctor, I mean, the pathologist eventually talked to us and gave us the results, sometimes I think it's good also sharing and saying, let's be spending a bit of time sometimes to see a doctor just even when you feel some general pains because what he explained to us of course no but i'm sure you've all heard that he died of a heart attack and the interesting thing is perhaps sometimes occasionally he'd be feeling some small pain but like all of us we neglect it so all i'm saying is it doesn't matter whether you are at a at what age or you as I mean you feel maybe some people of course there is always this perception that maybe heart attack is for people who are big bodies no we learned one lesson that time so all I'm saying is sometimes it's good to spend a bit of time when you go for gen just general checkups because that's what he told us he told us this thing I did known sometimes maybe you'd feel even some pain on the hand and I'm sure because he was quite fit and everything else was very intact by the way amazingly it's only that single problem that's why I'm saying sometimes let's also spend a bit of that time to do th those general checkups. I think with that, I don't want to say a lot. I mean, I just want to say, fair uh, uh, Norbert, you've been a great person. And the impact, and I'm sure uh, from all the speakers, the way you've had, we've actually noticed that Norbert was a very, very great person on his own. So thank you very much. Uh, finally, maybe just only to say, I know for some people, they sorry my name is Sami Chepony but a lot of people here because I know I was in poly sometimes very active in these other games that have been going on I've been known as material but today I decided I'll speak as Sami Chepony not material material good thank you Sami for those uh, wonderful words now um, Rachel has also had some very close friends her since this thing happened and I'd like to give um, uh, some of them a chance to say one word very quickly and Mary Chepkwony and Alice Maritim and Hilda Koech uh, one minute each please if you could come forward very quickly and thereafter um, we'll give a chance to the Unilever um, uh, family um, there's Raymond Nyamwea who was here with us yesterday are you here Raymond? <laughs> If not, did I see Dr. Onsando? Prof, are you here <laughs> to speak on behalf of the Nairobi Unilever team? And then uh, Mr. Mite will, the, the director here in Kericho will wind up the Unilever part. We're just about to finish. Good. Where are the ladies? <laughs> And Rono, are you here? Forever and ever, yes. Join the team very quickly. Alright, any delays will result in some surcharge and disqualification. <laughs> Where are the ladies? Hilda? Uh, my name is Anne Rono, a friend to Mr. Yegon's family. Um, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank God for what he has done in the family of uh, Ruben Yegon since the day this misfortune happened. Um, 
uh, we happened to have been the, among the first people to get to the home uh, when it happened. In fact, the, the, the only person we found was Mr. Cornes. So Ruben called my husband and just told him, can you dash here? So we dashed not knowing what had happened. We got to the home and we got to know that uh, no bird had passed away. I want to thank God because uh, I did not know Rachel would stand up and talk. I found her lying on the floor and it was really hard. And on that note, I want to thank Pastor Ali. Pastor Ali uh, gave us a very powerful message and before we left uh, the Yagon family, at least we were strong. Uh, so um, I want to thank God. I want to say pole to this family for the loss of Nobat. Uh, Nobat was a fine young man, man of a few words, and he was also a man of his word. I had one encounter with Nobat uh, when I just exited from Unilever. I had an issue and uh, I wanted to see Mr. Yegon and he was on leave. So I went down to the petrol station where you, uh, Rachel used to run and I found Nobat. So he told me, uh, Daddy is not here, but just leave your number. I'll call you when he comes. I didn't get back to the, I got back to the office within 20 minutes. No, but called me, told me, Daddy is here, come. I went and uh, my issue was sorted. So that's why I'm saying no, but was a man, he would have forgotten, but he just called me. I also know no, but loved his family, his children, his wife. Uh, no, but happened to have been my friend on Facebook. And, uh, Every week or every two weeks, he, he would post. He puts uh, photos of his sons, his wife, and uh, Mr. He would write Mr. Keegan, Mr. Keep, Mr. Kipto. In fact, one time I commented, I said, "I know, but this one is a photocopy of your father," and he just wrote, "Ha ha ha." So that's no but. Um. So I want to say, Paul, Mildred, um, uh, this you are in a good family. You are in good hands. Korera, Mama, Beach, Mama Mildred, this is a very, a very good family. Uh, Mildred will, will, will be well taken care of. So she will be okay. Mildred will uh, pray for you. Uh, stick to this family. If you stick to Rachel and Ruben, it will be well with you. So God bless you and we continue to say Pole. Praise God. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank my God for the Rubens family. I have known them for the last 40 years plus, it's since 1977. Yeah. Our children grew up together. In fact, I have two of my children here. You can stand up wherever you are. Yeah. They were our children. Or the uh, one they went to school together with Norbert in nursery school in Court Shepherd. Our children, when Ruben's family were in Nairobi, we were together. When Ruben was in Tika, my husband also has just started working, and we had that humble life together. We've never parted ways because we needed one another at all times. My children used to be at Ruben's place. Rachel would put them all together to sleep. Put the beds together and they sleep together. In the morning, the beds were wet. We would ask, who did that? Nobody answered. Nobody would say, not me. The rest would just look at one another and they would just say, I don't know. So anyway, we'll forget. Rachel is a wonderful lady. When we were in Nairobi together, we spent their time in their home. Because she was the only one who was working on Saturday, and she took care of us. <laughs> and at some time, we had some interest of going to some garden, because uh, you know, there used to be some garden sales, and we would be together, the four of us, with my late husband. So. Our children, we would put them together, and then the two, the four of us would go 
some places of our own interest for the sake of those children because there were things which were very good for us. Ruben's family, we have been together. We've been having good days and also bad days. When anyone, any family, maybe Ruben, one time he was not well, we were there for him. I the same. We, my mzee was not well and they went extra mile to mobilize his friends and uh, imagine we live some distance some, somewhere far and they made sure that we stayed near the hospital for the sake of my husband until he passed on thank you Ruben's family I don't want to take this for granted may God bless you no but we really, really loved him so much was just a part of my children. Mildred, I'm also the grandmother for your kids. We love you, we pray for you, all this. I know you will take care of them well. Your mom, maybe we are also there. Mm -hmm. We are supporting them in prayers and also in advice. Keep. Where is he? He knows me better, of course, when he, he joined school in nursery, I'm the one who took him to his first class. He was crying, but because I was there, he was assured he was safe. God bless you. Work hard. I know you are joining for one. You will work hard the way you passed well. You will do better. Thank you. Yes. So I don't have to have much. I don't have to say much. I know time is not on our side. May God bless you, the Rubens family, and the children. God is good, and all the time, and that is the nature of our God. A day like this, there is nothing we can say but thank God. We thank God for this day because He has been with us. He has come and stood with His family. Of Kaba Omuru. I don't know who the Yagons are with for me. They, we are mixed up. Rachel and Ruben. Rachel is my sister. And the family, our friends, we have a, a group of friends and we are together. And then again later, we got mixed up with the Yagons because. Um, we got wives for our sons from the Mudumas family. They started early, they got a uh, massive. So when our son also got another, uh, his wife from the Mudumas, he's trying to send us there. We don't know the Mudumas. We said we'll go to the Ergons to tell us who are these people and what do they ask. So we got all the information. So with the Ergons family, we are very close. And uh, we are standing here on behalf of uh, Rachel's friends. May, may I ask Rachel's friends to stand, please? All of you, you stand. Rachel's friends, there are many. Most of them, yeah, you see them. They are all there. So, Mama Mildred, Akona Marafike, Akona Manduku, and these ladies, the way they stood, you don't know them, but they are very strong in their families. And we value family. We value family. So, Mildred, you are in good hands with my sister here, Rachel. She's a very wonderful mother. A very, very good family builder. And nothing will go wrong. She will come to your rescue anytime. Be closer to her now. And you have your life you know you find things going smoothly because with you and her put things together with Wamuru there all will be well let me not take a lot of time let me say we'll miss Nobat he was our our son the first one of our daughter but all in all we cannot ask questions to God he's the one who gave us Nobat he has decided his time he goes. We cannot query that one. So let's just bid him farewell, fare thee well, Nobat, and God will give you 
a nice resting place in eternal life. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you very much, uh, Hilda. Hilda also spoke on behalf of Club 10. Club 10 is a club uh, of 10 families uh, to which um, um, Ruben and Rachel belong and they love eating a goat every month so they that, that Hilda was speaking on behalf of that uh, those members of club 10 good prof karibu sana now uh, this is dr onsando uh, from nairobi uh, representing unilever t uh, family a group of retired uh, senior citizens of unilever uh, as you can see and uh, the environment upstairs has been seriously affected yes Thank you, uh, Prof, for this opportunity to also mourn my friend's son, Norbert. Uh, before I speak uh, much, let, let's the Unilever team in, in, the, in, the, in the group stand up, please, wherever you are. Ex and present. If you can kindly wave. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, my condolences to Ruben and Rachel. Uh, and condolences from my wife Margaret, seated over there, and our children. By the way, Norbert went to school with our children. You know, we all took our kids to Kericho Primary. And that is how we got to know the children of our colleagues. Here I come with uh, three hats. As an ex-colleague of my friend, very close friend Ruben, here in Unilever, but also Kefis, we were again colleagues there. And uh, where Mildred comes from, is my clan. So Mseo Mwebu is, is my cousin. So I also want to endorse what every speaker said and put my signature that Mildred is in good hands. Speaking from your side. Yeah? She is in very, very good hands. Uh, this thing that has happened, death, is, is very, very traumatizing. Every one of us is 50% mother and 50% father. And the physical presence of a child from parents and siblings can be very traumatizing and painful. Particularly the mother because the mother is not only a 50% genetic contribution, but the mother is also the teacher of the child. The mother is also part of that child. During birth, muscles have to tear so that a child is born. So to a mother, part of her is going. Part of her is going. Not emotionally, but physically and biologically. And mourning can, can be a very, very unsettling experience. People can mourn their loved ones for years and years. And it varies from person to person. But my friend uh, Ruben and Rachel, let me request you that as you mourn Norbert, which I encourage you to, because you can't afford to bottle it up. If you bottle it up, it can actually hurt you. Vent as much as you can, so that you, you, you relax and you heal. But as you mourn your son, don't mourn your son as people who have no hope because there is life after the grave those of us who read scripture and i read scripture quite a bit it is very very clear 
that death was a riot act from God to Adam and Eve. If you remember the story of the garden, uh, the garden of of of, uh, of, of the Eden, the garden of Eden, that was a riot act that you shall die. Yeah, and several other uh, commands that were given by God. But as God did that, He also had a salvation plan. And that salvation plan will be executed when Jesus comes back again. And if you think that that is some literature, take it from me that Jesus is indeed coming back again. And that gives us a window, Ruben, and Rachel, and, and the kids to see Nobat again. What I leave behind in this home as a colleague, as a friend, and as a correr is that God be with you. Let Jesus take control of this home. And I leave the hope and the plan of God and Jesus Christ of salvation. And that gives us an opportunity to see nobody again. And God is the only one who can give you peace of mind, who can give you love in a very, very special way. We are, we are not capable as much as we are close to you to replace God. And those are my few remarks in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much, uh, Prof, for those very uh, kind words. And uh, Mr. Mite, very quickly, on behalf of uh, Unilever. God is good all the time. Thank you very much. I think for me, Dr. Onsanda has uh, finished what uh, we want to, to say. I think on behalf of the tea industry, not only Unilever, I stand here today to say pole to Ruben and the family. Ruben worked for Unilever for more than a quarter of a century. Where this guy is and where he spent majority of his time was in Unilever, then then Brook Bond. And we are happy today. I want to thank the team who have actually arranged for this meeting today because majority of the people who are there who actually met her, make this celebration successful today are the people who sat in Unilever. And we say thank you. On behalf of Unilever, we actually extend our tongue. So I am reading a message because uh, from Ruben's era to our era, he set up policies. We don't go and talk and leave. We actually give a letter that will be filed and say Unilever was once here and it say thank you. So we have received with profound shock and sorrow the sad news of untimely death of your beloved son, Nobat Kiprono Kirui. On behalf of Unilever T, Kenya Limited, receive our heartfelt condolences. We pray the Almighty God to give the entire family the strength and the courage to withstand the loss. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Let's clap for that. Thank you very much. So in few words, Ruben has been our mentor. Ruben has been our pillar, fought for the family and not only to the business. Ruben when I took over his office, as always, an ear stopped from me. So during this particular era, Ruben, we say, Pole. We actually say, Pole. We are with you during this particular era. Kimoi Gungoi, Age Moi, what a Pole, Rachel. King and Gil and Dandangawa in Nobat, Kogamete Walk Logok. Chamin Colin Jean, Kungwachito. And Mohammed Alagok, 
kile kaib kubes kwa tim lakini kuwa e nobat maib kubes kwa tim ne gere nobat kula kuchanchik ongi rib lagok amune cheget ko cheparwe kule mi nobat for all those remarks I'm going to go to know so big about the tea industry Finlay Williamson please Chin the guy of Finlay Williamson Kogir big of you in please let's stand up again the pole Kogir big chacha again Chiki by you say I tell you are in the tea industry Anywhere Again a big two ten to me you not big a luck Again a big chiki by Finlay Ak Yeah Chiki me to go Ongi eligi tiyo pole. Asante sana. Otherwise, keep mo ongo ongo ye njitugul. Tunasema pole ni. Let no but soul rest in peace. Asante sana. Kongo ye. Good. Thank you very much, Joseph, for those very encouraging remarks. Um... Nobat's children go to Moy Educational Center and there is a representative. I would like to give you this chance to pass your uh, tribute. Where you? Moy, Moy Educational Center. Yes. I have heard of it on a long. Two minutes, please. I'm Jambo Wote, I'm Botena, kwa majina ni naito Helen, mi ni mwalimu kutoka Moe Educational Center, and the death of Baba Kipto really shocked us, because I remember clearly on 11th of March, Norbert and Mama Kipto, they came together, and they picked Kipto's report book, because I'm teacher Kipto's, I'm the class teacher for Kipto. And uh, when I received the news, I was actually shocked because they were there, yeah, together. And in fact, I even made some jokes to Baba Kipto and even Mildred. I told them, Ebu kayeni hapa mbele kwa ikiti hata nini musikia vile Kipto huwa anasikia. And uh, we just laughed. Little did I know that by today, I'll be here just to say, fare thee well. So for that, we are just very sorry, Kipto, uh, Kigen, and even Kiprotich, the entire family of Moy Educational Center. And we've been sent by the, the school. I know some of you, you normally know Mr. Christopher Opodo, he's our principal. He would have loved to be here, but uh, because of one, two, three things, he's not here. So, so we, we are just saying sorry, sorry, sorry. And God is going to be with you. God is going to stand with you, Mama Kipto. He's going to make a way for these dear, lovely children. Thank you so much. Together, we are here with the teacher Tekla. And we also have a letter from the school. She'll talk and then she'll have to read the letter for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Jami. Na pia waombelezaji, klaki, ambao waomekuja hapa, hamjamboni. My name is Silas Mayo, and I've come here wearing two shoes. The first is a parent at Moy Educational Center. And you know, it's only kids who bring people together into the network of intellect that has been created. alluded to here by the previous speakers. I'm also wearing another shoe. I have my twin daughters and they just finished uh, class 8. They did their KCPE together with the son of the late uh, Nobad. So they have sent me condolences to Kipro Teach. thing is here. And um, uh, Celine and Cynthia, they have sent me to uh, the condolences and they will always be your friend. At opportune time, they will come and uh, pass the same to you uh, in Nairobi. So we don't have much to say, just to pray for this family, that uh, God will give them uh, wisdom and also strength, peace in their heart, as they also chart the new life uh, from here, Asante Nisan. Good afternoon. 
my name is teacher Tekla I'm teacher Keegan he's in my class so because of time I'll just read the condolences message for the late Nobat Kiprono from Moy Educational Center for Eternity. The board of directors, the management and the staff of Moy Educational Center wishes to condole with the family, relatives and friends following the death of Mr. Nobat K. Kirui. He was a dedicated and committed parent of Moy Educational Center who had passion for education and school. We wish to share our heartfelt feelings at this trying moment as we stand with you during this sad moment. <coughs> to the wife, we wish to encourage you to remain strong as you guide and bring up the children. To the children, keep protech Kirui, keep talk Kirui, and Joseph Keegan Kirui. We wish to encourage you to take heart and continue working hard in everything that you will do. May the Almighty God continue to provide as you start this new phase of life. Finally, our prayers is that God will provide strength, courage, and guidance in all your endeavors. God bless you. Yours faithful, Mr. Ford. Be blessed. Thank you very much, uh, Moy Educational uh, Center. Um, we, are, we just want to have one or two, and then we'll be over and done with. Uh, we have a representative from Nairobi Chapel. Very quickly, two minutes. And then we'll go to a few leaders. Praise the Lord. about that. Uh, my name is uh, Joy Mbogwa and uh, I, we go to the same church. Myself and uh, the people standing before you, we attend the same church with Mildred and um, Mildred is one of us. And um, I'm standing here wearing several caps. Um, I serve in the ladies ministry where Mildred is also one of us, and uh, we are. I'm here to send, um, to pass their message, to just say that uh, the ladies of Nairobi Chapel Langat, uh, condolences, and they are also sending a message to the family, saying that they are going to stand, <laughs> going to stand with Mildred. Uh, Mildred. The message from the ladies is that they say they love you very much and they will walk with you this journey and they will visit you, they will stand with you and they are upholding you in prayer and uh, even to the kids. And also, um, Sunday school teachers here, you serve with them and they're here to also just offer you their support and to say that they will serve you also here to say that they will also work with your children in this season and the pastors are here all of them they're here to say that they care about you and they they have been with you and will continue to be with you so um accept our love and our support and we love you very very much thank you I've got something more than gold. Thank you. I'll tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. Now, on, on behalf of Robert's friends, all of Robert's friends from Nairobi, um, where is my two minutes? To the world. Jesus is more than gold. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, mine is going to be very short. I, I don't know what more I can say about our friend, Nobat. So I'll only say Paula to mom and dad, Paula to Mildred and the kids, Paula to Tony and uh, Irene and Linda. And I'm going to hand over to yet another good friend of ours, Joseph Karamoja. He's going to read the eulogy. Asante. I'm Jamboni. My name is Joseph Okumu. 
mzee yegon and mama rachel my late father kenneth okumu who used to be your neighbor he used to live here and uh, we used to have board meetings with nobat at the tennis court together with uh, a few of our neighbors here so we said today we have to come and send off nobat Tony, uh, Tony used to join us in some of those board meetings together with uh, Renato D'Souza and some of our friends. But uh, today we want to represent mostly from our friends who went to the university with Nobat. And there's something small here. Allow me to read it very quickly. And this eulogy is uh, in honor of our friend Nobat that we bid farewell. We would like to first extend our deepest condolences to Nobat's family. At this time of grief, words seem inadequate during a time like this. As friends, we are deeply saddened by the loss of our friend. Many friends come into our lives, but only a few leave their footprints in our hearts. Nobat was without a doubt one of those people. We all met during our first year at University of Nairobi. Some of us were together at Nairobi School, like Moai here, who also shared a room with Nobat at the university. We organically formed a small close-knit circle of friends who shaped and influenced who we are now. We remain connected, in touch, to this day. When we left University of Nairobi, there were friends who were worth holding on to, and Nobat was one of them. In an opportunity, sorry, if an opportunity presented itself, Nobat would spot it. For example, there was a time while we were in university, he foresaw the commercial advantage of selling roses on Valentine's Day. Like the true entrepreneur he was, he recruited two of his friends, Mutai Karega and Mwai, who is standing here, to sell roses on, on Valentine's Day. He executed his business plan with Riga. The success of the plan, we still don't know if it failed or not, but we doubt if it took off. But suffice to say, for no but nothing was more expensive than a missed opportunity. There was also a, a time during third year of campus that Nobe, as we used to call him, and another friend, Boniface Kagiri, discovered their love for reading newspapers, particularly politics and current affairs. They agreed to buy newspapers every day in turn. If it was your turn to buy, you would read, and then you drop the newspaper to your friend the following the, in the evening. The newspaper was 35 shillings, which was, to put in perspective, Ugali and beans was 11 shillings. So it's, it was quite expensive, but they actually invested in it. Nobe was always ahead of his time. He was the first person in our group to purchase a pager. If you guys remember the pagers of the late 90s, we still remember his number was 8989. Not one to be left behind with technology, Nobe managed to sell his pager for a small fee and moved on to acquire an Ericsson mobile phone which was the first in the group. This mobile phone was the first for one of our friends called James Kimango to touch. He had never touched a mobile phone. So thanks to Nobat, James Kimango got to touch a mobile phone and I think he sold the phone to you. Because you were rich, Mwai plays music and he was earning a salary while we were at university, so he managed to buy a cell phone from Nobe. Nobe was impatient but impatient with mundane tasks and mediocre activities. His brilliant mind was underutilized, in our opinion, in a slow place environment. He was always true to himself. He would gladly walk away from a position that does not challenge his mind. He was more content with adrenaline-raising situation. One of our friends, Dr. Bernard Onyango, opined that I think Nobat could have been right at home as a freelance photographer in a war zone. I think he would have done well in Ukraine right now, taking photos of, of that situation. Nobat was a person who could come across a pile of scrap metal and see the making of a wonderful sculpture. An attribute that most of stood about Nobat was his critical and analytical mindset. He also had a very inquisitive mind. Nobat could spot fake story a mile away and silence you with one word, that is fake. If you found yourself in his company, you'd better make sure that your story is authentic and it adds up. Nobat was quiet, but thoughtful nature was a magnet to many of his friends. Many ventures bore fruit. Many a time, Nobat would gladly share his windfalls. 
there was a time Nobat and Karega Mutai went to JQ Art to learn how to grow mushrooms, but I don't think they ever started. But he just never wanted to miss that opportunity. His quiet but thoughtful nature was a magnet to many of his friends. His many ventures bore fruit. We were products of our own environment. The people we choose to spend time with shape who we are. Nobat was part of us with boundless energy and enterprising mind and a great sense of humor. That was simply magnetic. His genuineness rubbed off to many of us. He touched the lives of his friend, left a memory that will last a lifetime. Iprono, as I used to call you, you will be painfully missed. Time may pass, fade away, but memories of you will always stay. Allow me to finish with one story. Um, we were on a riot, perhaps not may, may be appropriate, but we were on a riot at the university. And we passed by the university way branch, which is just next to the university, and we were heckling the, the guys who used to work at the university. I was with Nobat. And then, um, as fate was half it, you know, God has a sense of humor. After we graduated, we took the lovely photos, we got employed, myself and Nobat. The branch of cooperative bank that we were heckling is where Nobat was posted. <laughs> I was posted to the head office. But I used to call Nobat and ask him, so uh, he used to laugh at those guys. How is it feeling now? Nobody will tell me these idiots are striking again, you know? <laughs> but the previous time it was us on the other side of the fence. So I choose to remain with these memories of Nobat, or Nobe, as for most of us who call him. I will not remember him lying in that casket, but for the many years I shared with him. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. That was a group we could not afford to avoid uh, because those are Robert and Norbert's very, 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 very close uh, friends. We're actually coming to the end. Um, I just want to give a, a few, um, uh, a, sh a very short period to a few leaders to say uh, a few words. And remember, today we're not making uh, speeches. I just wanted to clarify that today is not a time for speeches. It's a time for tributes. So when you get a chance, please restrict yourself to tribute to Nobat. Uh, everything else, the family has requested that we keep politics away from this, uh, this, this particular uh, funeral service. So any leader who is given a chance, please take two minutes to pay tribute to Nobat and uh, no more than that. Um, we are very delighted to have with us the MD of um, KCC, uh, Nixon um, Sige. Can I give you a chance to say a few words? And then Ms. Mayor Franklin Bates will, will follow. I am uh, uh, Ruben na Mama Rachel, uh, Tony, Irene and Linda, and Milfred and the children, and the family and the friends who are gathered here this afternoon. Nataka sema pole sana kwa familia kwa kupoteza nobat. I had a privilege uh, to meet. Uh, no, but uh, I think last year he came to my office. This is the gentleman lying here. It's a fine gentleman, soft-spoken but very intelligent. We had uh, a brief conversation on so many issues. It's unfortunate that we are here today to bid him farewell. I want to encourage the wife and the children that uh, and the family, that God will be with you, God will give you the grace, God will see you through this. We really don't challenge why God has done this at the prime age of uh, nobody.
fortunate that we have lost him at the very prime age when we still needed more to take care of his young family but we say the legacy to live in is the kind of family that bring up had so many good things about Nobat, how he cared for his children. We are really excited that that is the great legacy that uh, Nobat leaves us here today. The family, the sons that he has left for this family. Ruben, my friend, and uh, Mama Rachel, uh, we want to say may God continue to give you strength. It is really very painful. It is not something many of us here can really comprehend or feel, but it is really very painful, we know. But may God continue to give you strength to overcome this. There will be so many other many blessings that will come to your family, that will come to your way. These children will grow, the three sons will grow up to be big people later in life. Mungu wa ako na mbango zake na ako na njia zake. We may not understand now. But we are wishing you well. We are praying for you. Ruben and Mama Rachel, I think we talked around two days before this happened. And I was delivering you some good news. I didn't expect that the day after we will receive some bad news. It was so painful and uh, very sad that the, some good news I was delivering to you will be, you will receive the following day some sad news. But to achieve Mungu, Tuseme asante kwa marafiki yenye wamasimama na familia hii. And I want to ask uh, Milfred that you have a very strong support system within this family. If Mama Rachel and uh, Ruben have kept their friends for over 40 years, how about their daughter and the children that have been left? I can assure you the support system that you have here is a very strong and very powerful one. Take advantage. And uh, for Tony, Irene, and Linda, the greatest gift you can give to Nobat is to ensure that you take care of his children, and ensure that you are always there for them. If it is visiting day, you are there, you are the first ones to be there for them. That is the gift that you can give uh, to Nobat. And kwa hayo, atakasema asante, mungu wa Thank you very much, Bwana uh, MD. And Kitinura and Boysega Boysega Miote, Amachago, Chichaman and Yuan, Kambili, Bwana John Langat, if you know Mama Leona Ganga. And then after that, I will. We also have condolences from Engineer Mosonic, uh, who was not able to be here, and Mrs. Kemei, and from Brooke. The Gons family, the mourners, evening. It's actually evening because it's after around three. Otherwise, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have come on behalf of Mioth Council of Elders, and uh, so far we are three of us. Can you stand where you are? Where you are? We have that gentleman is a secretary for Kericho County. The lady standing is. His assistant and the lady is also the assistant in the National uh, Miot Kipsigis Council of Elders. I am the vice chair in Kericho County and I'm the treasurer in South Rift, entire Kipsigis, that is. And our national chairman, Bishop Leleito, was not able to turn up. He gave his own condolences and said he wasn't able to be here because of unavoidable circumstances. Alternatively, the Chair for Kericho County, Andrew M. Langat, uh, was also in another mission in Nairobi and he was not able to attend. And therefore, I'll talk on behalf of them all and say Paul to the family of the Egons. And indeed, we came last week and thank God we found you um, already consoled by friends and relatives and please thank you because you accepted. And the first one is, of course, to accept when anything has happened, accepting is very important. And thanking God because he gave us our son for all those years. 
we say thank you. When we came, we found that your daughter-in-law is a very good person and may you be blessed, our, our daughter-in-law. May you be blessed. You are in safe hands. The daughter-in-law loves this family. The parents-in-law also love the, the, the daughter-in-law. And the children are on safe hands. Are we together? Nobody should panic. We, the elders, have said that we know that this family is an established family and the children are, are on safe hands. Otherwise, uh, the Egons, we want to say pole, and all the mourners pole. May God help all of you. Um, my name's uh, John Langer. Um, as I said, I'm the treasurer of Mion and uh, vice chair in Kericho County. I've been a master of ceremony, and I know what he feels as a master of ceremony. I was a master of ceremony for 51 years, and we at one time were in, on the same stage with him, and I know the good work that he's doing. May you continue doing the best. God bless you. Asante, God bless all of us. Thank you very much, my uh, fellow MC. We also have a message of condolence from uh, uh, Bashmir Nick Salat. Now, I'd now like to ask Bashmir Frankie to come and pay his tribute. I know you are mtu wa siyasa, lakini tunajua leo hakuna mambo ya siyasa. Kwa hivyo usiaribu CV yangu. CV yako ni mzuri sana. Uh, Ruben Yegon, Rachel Yegon, watoto wote, jamii, eh, uriyo kigentukul. Nae mimi nimesimama hapa <coughs> ili ni seme pole kwa kupoteza kijana wetu e, mimi na Ruben na wengine wako ndani hapa tulikuwa masomoni primary school was hizo na tumekroa pamoja tukaenda secondary pamoja uh, baada ya secondary tukaingia university baada ya hapo tukaachipanga kuoa Ruben akapata recho Mimi nikapata ingine, mwingine akapata ingine na watoto ndio hawa. Na watoto ndio hawa. So Ruben pole sana for that loss of uh, Nobat. Uh, Nobat like it has been said alikuwa rafiki ya wengi. Na ni kweli na the family of Ruben are people loved by the people of Kericho County. We love you. And uh, pole for the loss. <coughs> Na nimebatua chukumu mwingine lakini kabla ya hapo kila mtu asimame. Tumeketi sana 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 sana. Hata Kristoba ameketi saidi. Kristoba iko wapi? Kila mtu simama except Ruben. Tumeketi sana. Wewe nyorosa mwili kidogo. Kidogo 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 kidogo. Kama wewe ni mkalenjini utaimba na mimi. Kama wewe si mkalenjini wewe hii mtu. Sina namna hiyo. Yet in the noon in the yawn, in our young got to go. A tom, a monkey bend out it way. No one in the yawn. Who mocks up? No yawn got coit bed to nega got to go. Esa bonda nyu nebit Konga la lunje uba Mache igo Inendet Ngoti cha meni man Kushingong na ono mitu ano Wakita ile pole nobat Mwambia rafiki alie nawe Pole kwa nobat Alafu tuketi chini Asante ni sana Mi nataka kuchukua fursa hii kuendesha kipindi kwa haraka sana. Ile tumeagana na Nicholas. Na wale ambao nitawaita ujue ya kwamba mimi siombi kiti. Na mimi sina huruma na wewe kwa sababu sitapoteza kura. Ana nao kwe. So na hapa watu walio hapa almost 50% are non Kericho County people. They have no interest in what you want to tell us for too long here. 
Au na mna gani jameni? Hawana interest. So don't waste your breath. Just tell us we unaomba hii we kwenda kiti. Na tunaona ukitembea tunaona wewe. Kama unatoshana tunaona. Kama unatembea wewe hoe tunasema oh mani. Tuko muiga sidi. Itaanza kwa kwanza ku recognize all the chiefs who are here. Can all the chiefs be upstanding? All the chiefs? All the chiefs? I can see. Who is the senior most? Can you run here and say, Polo kwa niyaba ya ma chiefs? Wote. Tafadhali? Tafadhali? Tafadhali chief? Kuseme Polo kwa niyaba administration chiefs, assistant chiefs. Aga nyo nanyi figure in village managers. They have been upgraded. Sio? They are now called village managers. So kuseme kwa niyaba yao. Asante sana. Kuche karibu tu. Ugetaka tuwanse kasi? Tuka. Eh, kwa niyapa ya administration yote Yependa ni chukwe fursa Seme pole kwa familia ya Yegon Mama Recho Na the family at large Kwa kumpotesa mtoto enu Pole ni sana, take heart Tuko pamocha wakati kama huu Eh, Singe peda kuchukua muda mrefu Ila tu kusema wakati tunapoendelekea election Na vathali tu Let's be in, eh, in, encourage one another to be peaceful We coexist together Brotherhood So that we have a peaceful election Asante sana, thank you very much Asante chief, mesikia eh Tuende kwa hii kazi na amani na heshima kwa kila moja. Na mimi naenda kwa wale ambao ni kusimama tu. Wale walikuwa kansola, wale walikuwa uh, MC yewe na wakupata wa, wa tena simameni mahali mulipo. Wale waliokuwa simameni mahali pote. Ehe, mina wana katha katha. Semeni pole kwa nobat. Asante geti chini. Wale ambao wanaomba viti vya MCA kujene kwa haraka kama muko. Wale wanaomba MCA. Basa kuna, basa. Wale wanaomba MP kujene kwa haraka. Kama unaomba MP we kuja kwa haraka. Na ujue ni jina na mahali unaombea hiyo kiti. Basa kwisha maneno. Wanna say my ladies first. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Franklin. Uh, I'm here with uh, two hearts to say condolences from uh, my family, the Toll family, Mr. and Mrs. Yegon, and your family. We've been friends for many years from the time of my late father. And no but and your children were together with my brothers and sisters in Australia. So please receive their condolences, receive my condolences, my mother, brothers and sisters, Pole, and also to the entire Kericho County for losing a very good gentleman, a very serious man, Pole. Number two, my second heart, my names are Anto, I'm vying for the seat of Ainamui. Franklin said we shouldn't say much. I'm the only lady, Aro Riyad Kition, Na tunatuma Madam Leo Parliament Ainamoe. Thank you. Asa ino na roriata ke ngeni so bambi. Chebo nondi. Including uh, those who are asking for women rep. So they are MPs also. Wale ambawa naomba women rep. If you are kama naomba women rep, kuja because we ni MP. Uh, let me take this opportunity, opportunity to take a uh, thank God for uh, being before you today, I want to say sorry and pole for Arab Yagon. He's my uncle, I think. So I have lost a relative, I've lost a cousin. I'm also mourning. But nevertheless, uh, my uncle, this is life. The way we came, the way we shall go. And there is nothing that we have that we will take with us wherever we're going. It's only unfortunate that we are losing the young people and we are leaving us the old ones 
sometimes you will ask yourself would it have been that you have done a mistake or some something mishap to lose your son earlier than yourself yes it is always a hope and our intention to leave our children with the inheritance but this is something that happened unfortunately but nevertheless uh, nobody was my friend i used to be with him at uh, next to my office there i'm an advocate and my office is just next to a business in town so most of the time i'm with nobat most of my breakfast i take in your establishment and i've lost a friend people of vainamoy i want to say that uh, i've lost also a voter he is a person of my age though he's older than me about 3 years and therefore we have lost a clique of a person whom we had agreed we are going to develop kiricho the young people who are coming now below 40 are the ones who have the chance to invest in kiricho you remember mr my friend franklin he invested his time but it's our time now so those young people 40 years below less struggle and let's have together the hearts of helping our people I, i'm i'm uh, i'm aspiring to be an mp for ainamoy constituency i'm not going to be in any party i'm an independent candidate we were seven in the uda but i realized all of us could go to tumdo the meet target 14 so ngeta lak i decided therefore can you turn table it so i'm coming anet pigo calling jogne ma kura ko ma chama kura o sera so 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 uh, the family of uh, the people who have been left the children and the mother as a legal fraternity i don't know if there are a lot of lawyers madam is not here but on behalf of the lawyers in town we are saying pole kwa familia and also i have to thank uh, mzee because we have been having meetings in this this come every time political meetings and other development meetings so amwe gongoi onge ripke onge sochinge wa muniombe sana muniombe sana kwa sababu mimi peke yangu niko upande ule mwingine na kwa hivyo i have a lot of challenges na watu ambao wanakuja sasa nikimaliza tu ya mwisho wa ambao watachagua governor i want governors ambao watakuja this time hakuna guesswork as lawyers to me agree we are going to use our ability Hango amna tene gitinye kirip kaunde nyo oke mes mtu mwenye atakuwa governor ama ni na, na kiongozi mes na mambo ya watu this time utaenda ndani that koma go gaso kwe oko to kwe kioso me mb na muki mes tuko tayari sisi mimi taongoza hiyo watu ai gaso wakili eh Ukiona mimi na karibia wewe tafadhali maliza maliza. Fone so asifiwe. Inamwa mutyo engai. Kabruben yegon na mwa mutyo missing. Na mwa mutyo oteni ju. Na mwa mutyo enji tugul. Ogonyi tenyo taka na engai o moyo mutyo. Maya magotin atono nenyu amwa chebo siasa lakini amun komite newton ole na mwa gainet aga mwa kitkite ogonyute nyot kama tinyun lakweta ap koi emi emi omongwa le mi kabwa bi gora emi ay mitenyo Amo kapwa bi gora yenga ka ger my brothers from Eldoret again ok pik chebo chebo ka so kilenen dugul pole pole missing pole missing so go kai nenyun ke gure na mrs ngeny lucy mrs ngeny lucy kamet ko ami Also men echara na mbo chebiosok in women rep naitwa women rep naitwa mrs ngeny lucy so kwa mama mildred mildred nena sema pole sana mama mildred 
huyu mama Rachel hawezi shindwa kujunga uh, watoto uh, watoto Rachel amekuwa menda wa wengi kwa mbali including me hata kama tuchachukua mtoto wao hapa I have been really very interested and really following her footsteps. I have been following her so much. She is a mentor. So Mildred uko sawa. Uko sawa. Mama akiwa na nguvu. Karibia yeye tu. Karibia yeye. Asante sana. So pick your so obwatan yet nomination in 14th Obwatan Mrs. Ngai Lucy Gamet omiten UDA Asante sana Wale gurenyu Gamet Najua kitu mbaya kwa wanasia ukipatia hawa hii chombo kuondoka kwa hii chombo ni matanga So don't tempt me to hold it for you Iso amenao ginye Thank you Watch wacha nichukue fursa huu kutoa pole zangu kwa familia let me condo, eh, convey my condolences to the immediate family pole may god be with you kwa nyakati ngumu wacha niseme eh, kwamba naitwa chepmenu chichir kutoka kipkelion west mimi ni registered aspirant wa women rep kericho county So siasa ni seasonal. Ukitupea wakati kidogo tu tutashukuru. Sawa. So um na wania cha mwalishi wa wamama katika bunge, yani women rep and this is the only chipukisi mama mwenye ametoka Kilion West. Na ataweza women rep. Piki akiboge richo. Asamu agenga mingine tapke. Ana go abunu Kilion West an aspirant negitum border border rider ah uh, teacher by profession i respect my husband ju anatumia border border kunilisha so women rapini come alimu no high school lakini gitu njita border border au gale chama ni bottom up so tulikutana naye nikamwambia chama ni bottom up so asawa mo big of gericho Obiru wangu ra enda rigita manangwan no bo nomination na somok ago gigile i mo ilildo kirugyuk miten nunwet so yon tese ta go etu girgit ko miten nunwet na mi biano ko go nunwet ko nita ne imuje ko get kericho e kai ne tapsi asa na ito atabrandish tabrandish ni tabrandish tuga we go tuga ko bwaga kericho county mungo abariki sana. Munifuotie jina yenye iko kwa ballot ni chemngeno chirchir mama boda boda be blessed Eje ka goro mitu nwana na nyi Ka goro mitu nwana kabisa Ka oger tarimbo Wewe ulijelewa and I want to go fast one minute I want to go fast one minute Netago itungu ni go mewa go magure ngegi. Oh, I think I take go in the game. I asante sana waziri. Sigi ga abnobe, bibi anobe, lago ga abnobe, kanyi tenik, aga chek tukul dandangi mi eri re gongi gate gele buana yesu asifiwe. So, gigoro na kitu. Gurana tarimbo it, IMCA na boga abso it, ama chole pole sana, no ba kogi chorwe. Kita mge mi tukul Nairobi o ligito mga devolve na. So ama chole mutia missing, ma ama cha manga leke chang. Ama chole pole, go kuruta chorwe nya nemye. Kwa nga lega be met ke bire gura en 14th, kogi gwone ng nafas. Kemwagi lagi magi ndo unega no in the next five years. So, okwe kwa na inchi magari ekchog, ago okwe ekcho nga lali ole, omaktaya no in the next five years. Kagile, four mini bottom, ago go lul bibi ana ma lul. Go lul, so ngap go lul bibi ae, kele ene na sandi sana maengale. Kongo imi sing, thank you.
I trust you to do so very quickly. Na wale ambao wanataka kitu cha Senate muko hapa? Ninyo? Area MP? Ako wapi? Ah, wewe. Wewe unatanga tanga kama mtu ya UDA. <laughs> Kaa keti mahali basi ni gurumia we eh. Okay okay I want to remind you yourselves I want you to come and tell me your name the seat you are asking for because the family is pleading they want to go and uh, inter their son and I also believe in the same So I want you to come say who you are by name and then simply say you are looking for what seat don't tell us you are Sarah because I told you 50% of this crowd will not understand what you are doing as you are Sarah then maybe then the area MP come and say it quickly eh okay. imwa wonga inete pagile tai image dia na mai majo thank you family the director you gone kando ike give me to lembe to near brain choro no no but bwana yesu asifiwe ana mnafasi ni amwango leo tami mucha missing yenga beta tap no but no but was a true friend he was a friend to everybody as i said last time he was a fine gentleman will truly miss him will pray for the family wish all the best age sachini lagoki kwa munga kwa sai shek kage chelewa na munga kimi ganisa na kiguren kinya se sda bitu ne bare pastors day ke chelewa lage ni gosa chikora family ni kuma macha munga le ke cha i remember when i won when i got elected as a member of parliament in 2017 i met nobody somewhere here and he told me if you crack it we'll be proud of you if you fail we'll be doomed If you are here today you would be campaigning for me. I would then use his funeral to campaign again yet he supported me. I'll only confirm that I'll still be contesting as a member of parliament and I'm with constituency have me in your prayers. Asante sana na Mungu abariki. This gentleman Agocha mai ko UDA. This gentleman came to a de- uh, deliverance church and he was told to avoid politics and he did exactly what he has done today. I want to say I admire you uh, network you keep to your word. Uh, I saw two gentlemen for governor I will begin with uh, engineer. That is engineer Fred Kirui and Naomba Kiti cha Kabana. You are bad how Silvanos has gone. Please the request of the family is just make it as brief as one minute. Okay. Ole natai nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwanza kusema bwana Yesu asifiwe e, ya pili mimi kwa majina naitwa engineer Fred Kirui natoka kule Kipkelion e, kijiji kinaitwa Blue Hill Kipkelion West nimekuja hapa e, kwa niaba yangu na niaba ya familia yangu kusema pole kwa familia ya Nobat ambaye nimemfahamu kwa muda He is my age mate karibu namshindia one year ako nataka niseme kwa wazazi pole sana kwa kumpoteza eh nawe nimemfahamu tangu eh nimemjua kwa awali ama kwa muda and uh, he has been very social na ni kijana ambaye amekuwa hana eh kombi na mtu vile vile ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda watu sana. Nimekuwa nikija hapa na nimfahamu kwa muda. So eh Adam Red eh Yagon Mr. Yagon poleni sana kwa kumpoteza eh, Nobat. I'm praying for your family and may God rest the soul of Nobat in eternal peace. Kwa watu wote hapa mimi naomba maombi. Naomba kitu cha governor Kericho County. Nafikiri wakazi wote wa Kericho ambao wanatoka sehemu tofauti tofauti 
mimi naomba maombi na vile vile unisaidie ili nichaguliwe kama governor katika chama chetu cha UDA. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Urabao kino. Thank you very much uh, engineer for keeping uh, that shot. The last one is uh, ambaye nataka governor ni Dr. Mutai. I kept him to come last because he's also but one minute. Yeah, bona sifiwe. My name is uh, Dr. Eric Mutai. I'm also a family here. I remember a couple of weeks ago, like a week before Nobat, before we lost Nobat, I was with the family of Ruben and uh, we were sharing one or two. He was reminding me on the good old days when his own father used to visit my grandfather in the village and we had some good time until around one when we ate supper. Then thereafter, shortly, I learned that Nobat is no more. So dad and mom, on behalf of our clan called Wale, the bigger Chamozare club clan, I really want to convey my sincere and deepest condolences to you and your family. We pray that God will continue to comfort you. We pray that Nopat will find peace in the arms of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a clan, as a family, we will indeed miss him. But we pray that God will shine his path. To the children of Nopat and the wife of Nopat, our Shemesh, I just give you one confidence that God will be the father of your children. Some of us, we also lost our parents pretty early, but God has continued to be our father and he has taken us to places that we never imagined. I pray that the Lord will take your children to places that we can never imagine on this earth. Uh, lastly, I'll enjoy with us as a family. Including our friends that have come from different breaths of this country. Thank you for coming to confront with us here in Kericho. We wish you God's journey masses as you travel back home. Kobi kio kio bagiri chama mama gongoi. Ogo na amgab chain gazirubi. Ogo lai ngai mbawi. Lagini togo ngaliyot kwa geng. Kimache ko madam machine shek tu gori. Engab chain gata magena mota geng. Tom bagai tiyoto. Ne boy enke saw me gora gile. Matkete bena sole chisa tibeke top good contact. Mano me gai chaya ta good contact. Kota ne good contact chaya ne ge buti. Kimbaja sole chuku buti chaya ge. Ago tore tagi, ago sabcha, ago nyor sabit, ago tuyak tunglo. So mo jenga leke jang doctor mutai, kaya ne doctor mutai, aga lualindeti, kaya gan kaya magu, aga nwe gam segeri ge, aga sabme engamene tafke. Ala shau buatan this April 14th, ogo non ngecheret the work governor in Gericho County. O parikwe sana rest in peace abalada nobat. Kogo amazing. Thank you very much. These guys are very obedient today. Clap for all of them by the way. Ingekuwa mbali sana hii maneno finally. Uh, we have talked of words of encouragement. And I want to appreciate Ruben Yagon. He has encouraged watoto wake. So Mildred you got the best father in Ruben. You got the best mother in Rachel. And I'm telling you out of my heart because I grew more particularly with Ruben. He's a very principled man. Very humble man. Very clear in his instructions. So Mildred, usiwe na wasi wasi, usiwe na wasi wasi, weko na advocates mingi kwa sisi, kwa huyu. So, I only to remind mama ya Mildred ukisha peana msijana yako kwa wakipsigis huyo mtoto ameenda na ameenda kabisa kwa hiyo familia achaenda nusu nusu ameenda kabisa kama ago leye eh huyo mtoto huyo mtoto usifikirie juu yake tena ni yetu mia kwa mia ikiwa mvua ikiwa ni nani ni wetu so made we kwenda relax uko kisiga mama relax now relax completely ana nao bigyo eh mami relax and relax completely msijana ako kwa kwa usuri hapa 
kwa hayo machache mimi nasema pole tena eh, kwa kwa familia ya Ruben agori of kigen tugul agol wal tugul ko poleni sana asante sana mheshimiwa Franklin kwa kuendesha hicho kipindi kwa njia iliyofaraa sana thank you so much for managing that uh, sector of the program now and we've really come to the end of today's function and i would now like to ask uh, tony to come and please uh, pass a vote of thanks and thereafter the choir will take over uh, as we recess to the graveside now it's only the immediate family the close family members who will proceed to the burial site the rest of all will remain seated here there is still a lot of i know we cut um, we cut short the feeding so there is still a lot of food please if you have not had lunch you are most welcome to uh, proceed and have lunch there will also be tea so you will be uh, having your lunch and your tea as the family proceeds to the burial site otherwise thank you very much all for coming and i'll now ask tony to pass a vote of thanks uh, uh, hello everyone my name is Linda Yagon. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for all the support you've shown and um, we'll miss my brother. And um, yes, I'd like to thank you for all your support. Praise God. Um, I think mine is to thank you all. We've had quite a turbulent 10 days or so, but we've felt all your love, all your support. Tony and I, we were um, away for most of it. But even back there, we didn't feel alone. We knew that you we were praying for us. Um, we had support there. We had people standing with us the entire time. Um, I think we, we feel very loved and we know that we'll be okay. Uh, we will miss my big brother very much. He, he has left a big gap, but we also know God is with us. Uh, yeah, in saying that, just thank you. Thank you to everyone. All right, thanks, Irene and Linda. So let's start with a vote of thanks. This is in no particular order, so I'm not. Uh, I'll just run with the list that I have. First, I'm going to talk, uh, say, uh, Sante to Batiem, our matriarch. Uh, thank you for being the leader of this family, and we love you all. Uh, Dad, Mom, Linda, Irene, you know how much we love Nobat. So together with uh, Raphael, I'm sure we will we will collaborate together on matters concerning the kids. So rest assured between us we will work as a team and we will provide they will not lack for any one time so that i can assure you uh i've got also my greetings to say thank you from my wife mercy in australia together with my son kimuta and kip they passed their regards they were with me through the tough time mercy is the one who gave me the call on the day of the morning uh, when it happened and she has stood strong by me since then and i say thanks to her and kimuta and kip also like to say a uh, special thanks to Dennis as well, uh, my brother-in-law. He, when this first happened, the first person I called was, first I called Linda to find out how the parents are. And when I was told that they're with the, the people, I was assured. But then I called Dennis to find out how. I didn't want to talk to Irene directly, so I called Dennis. And he assured me that Irene was, was fine. So we thanks to Dennis, Nessa, and I try because it's these kids that give us the, the, the strength. To go through such situation all right so i'm just gonna through again the first respondents in nairobi uh of course uh, uh kiprotich linda jeff i think jeff has been mentioned i want to say a big thanks to jeff as well i know it was not easy but we thank you so much you need the the house help and diana we thank you as well for all the support you have provided to nobody yeah um the other guys i think my dad had mentioned mr fundi Sam Jim, who has stood very strong with us, Whispers, Mwai, Mr. Sami Chepkorn, a friend of Nobat called Mai Tabuke, they have really supported us through these times, and without their strength, it would have been difficult. And also the first responders in Kericho, when I called, I, I, I heard that uh, Mr. Mite, Mr. and Mrs. Mite were at home, Pastor Ali was at home, Mrs. Rona was at home, uh, Andrew Maritim, they, they were at home, they spent the night at, at home. Uh, my aunts Amy and Mary I believe they were at home as well so when I called and I found that there's people at home 
I was a bit relaxed because I was concerned about uh, Linda, mom and dad. So thank you all. Thanks to the aunties for all the support. Uh, also, again, because this I mentioned before, this is in no particular order. So I also like to thank um, uh, Mary Chepkorn and her family. They stood us, stood by mom through the whole time and through our family. We thank you and we appreciate you. Carol and Joyce, Larry, we appreciate your, your friendship and your closeness. Again, this was not particular order. I also like to, to thank a bigger special to my uh, Irene's dad, uh, Mr. Wilson Conness. He was also there on the same night. To Nasema Asante Sana. And may God bless you. Thank you so much. All right. So in Australia, we've got a lot of friends as well who've supported us during this time. There are so many, I can't mention them by name. But some of the names that we pop up is my one of my best friends is called Jim Kaduru. He's from Uganda. He's really been there for me the whole time. Janet Mite, which is Andrew and Andrew Andrew Mite's um, daughter. Gilbert Mutai, Edwin Mutai. They've really provided support from also some friends like Moniki Gishuru, Get Williams, and so many more. I can't mention all of them, but they've provided a lot of support. Uh, another special thanks is from the Nairobi team. We had Alan Mutai, who is my cousin. Uh, Alan, maybe you can stand up. And also Caleb. Caleb, I don't know where you are. Can you stand up? So Caleb was able to represent us during the postmortem, which is not an easy task. But we really think, thank you for that. And we love you. We appreciate you. And when I call him to say thanks, his words were, don't worry, we are family. That's what family does. So we thank you, Caleb, for, for that. All right. Uh, I'd like to thank all my aunties and cousins. I can't mention all of you, but you all know yourselves. as Santa Sana, Auntie Mary, Auntie Amy, Auntie Alice, everyone, Auntie, Auntie Mrs. Yeah, and Santa Sana for, for all the support. We thank you and we, 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 we are happy for that. Also, my other cousins, yeah, Santa Sana. Now, friends of Nobat, before, I don't think it would be right of me to go through this without introducing one of Nobat's friends. I think he was the last guy with him on the day. Shams, are you around? Can you please come forward? Shams and the other lady I met today or yesterday, Chep, Chep, Chebet or Changetich? Shams, are you here? Okay, maybe he's not here, but I didn't know Nobat, I didn't know Shams before today, but uh, I've understood his journey and he was one of Nobat's closest friends towards the end so we, we have to say a very big thank you because he provided Nobat with the friendship and companionship that he needed so Asante Sana to Shams Another, another special thank to Siloam um, through Mr. Frank Mbet Asante Sana for taking care of Nobat while he was there we really say Asante and we we thank you from the bottom of our hearts as a family. Uh, Dad's friends, you're so many, I can't mention you by name, but thank you all of you. You've all spoken on behalf of, 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 of Dad's friends, same as Mom's friends. I can't mention you by name, but Asante Sana. All my friends who are pretty much nobody's friends, Asante Sana, Renato, I saw, I saw you somewhere. Asante Sana, Renato for coming through. And uh, the funny thing with nobody is that I had figured a trick with Nobat. He was a very quiet person, but I figured the trick with nobody is as long as you put a mutual friend between the two of you, then he opens up and he, so I always wanted to, I always sort of scheme to be with Norbert and one of his our mutual friends. And those are some of the friends, Kina Whispers, no, Karega, uh, the guys who spoke here, Mwai, Renato. Special thanks to Kericho Primary Group. We have a WhatsApp group through, and special thanks to Rose Sang, Jen Viv, uh, Clement, who came to see me as well in Australia. They supported us financially and through prayer. So we really say thanks to Kericho Primary Group. I have the same friends, uh, Kabarak Group as well. And through uh, a, a lot of friends of their Peter Ruto, Pete, uh, Kip, uh, Kevin Conness, and many others, they've provided us with support through friends, through prayers and also financially. Uh, special mention to Masses family, the Mudumas. Kabiru, I can see you there. Asante Sana for coming through. We've been strong together in the birds and good times. So Asante Sana, and may we continue to keep that going. Yeah. Uh, also, special thanks to Chebet Rono from Mrs. Rono's daughter. She helped us at the airport when we were landing. So she expedited our transition into into taking out. So Asante Sana and 
and to the Rodham family. Pastor Ali, I didn't know much about you before today, but thank you for your testimony. I uh, will make a point of looking for you. We can catch up and we can continue on that uh, journey that you had with Norbert. Asante sana. And also Eric Rodriguez also assisted with that. So special thanks as well to the APSA group. You've represented well, Mildred. I believe there was a great support uh, both uh, emotionally and from the group. So Asante sana. Uh, we might get a chance to catch up and say hi, but thanks for coming through for our family. Uh, so Unilever T as well, we've mentioned that. The churches and the clergy, you've been our, our rock, you've prayed for us, and you've taken us through this time. So Asante sana, and we we really appreciate your support. Uh, also, the, the staff from Rays and Litneys can calculate. Uh, you, we have a very good relationship with the guys, myself and Norbert, so we are consider them part of family. We've got Hillary who takes care of uh, the Norbert's area uh, and also Franco who, who, who's been with us for a very long time. So we really appreciate you guys and uh, John Murefu as well, the, our chef. Uh, can't mention you all by names, but thank you so much for all the support. And to everyone for coming. For I didn't want to make it a sad moment. I want us to celebrate Norbert's uh, uh, Thank you all and rest in peace. No. Thank you very much, Tony, for being brave enough to pass that vote of thanks. Otherwise, that brings us to the end of uh, today's uh, function. Thank you, everybody, for making it here. And may God bless you as you go back to your various homes. We pray for God's mercies as you go. I'll now hand over to the choir. And uh, thereafter, we will ask the, the, the one of the pastors to please, Reverend, one of the pastors from AIC to please uh, pray the final prayer and before the body leaves to the burial site. Now, the rest remain uh, seated here as the family proceeds to the burial site. As I said, there is still a lot of food for those who have not had lunch, and there is tea. And as I said, the site up there is not big enough so it's just the family the APSA group the Nairobi chapel if you you can join the family uh, for the burials uh, at the site thank you so much choir please proceed